somebody help me touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, what the Lord has done for me in this season, my mouth cannot count it. I don't know about you. to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we rise to our feet as we continue to praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Don't be tired of praising him because he's not tired of blessing you. He's not tired of blessing you, so don't be tired of praising him. Help me talk to yourself. Say, I have a good God. He does great things for me. 
He cannot fail me. Therefore, I am a winner. Say, I have a good God. I have a good God. He cannot fail me. Therefore, I am a winner. If you have said that from the depth of your heart, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let me see you rise to your feet to praise him one more time. All the days of my life I praise you. Everything that I have now you give to me, Baba. Lord, I say, for your love I'm grateful. Just so you love me, plenty, you came to die for. Oh, I searched around, there's no one that's like you. The Lion of Judah, you're the mighty man in my If you are victorious, let me see you rise to your feet and give him a dance of prayer. In that area where the enemy say you are not a winner, declare this morning that he has given you victory. Everything that I have that you get to me, Baba. Lord, I say for your love I'm grateful. Yes, you love me plenty, you get to die for me. Jehovah Rah, Jehovah DC, I am that I am. Oh. I trust your love, there's no one that's like you. The Lion of Judah, the mighty man of God. I am God has given me the key. Give me a brand new song. Okay. You really want to 
să ai gata, ai n-ai o, Iți amesc, am mai de, am zi, o
do a little exercise now. If you know you're ready to carry your blessings this morning, there is need for you to do a little exercise. Then you balance well and carry it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Bring it up. Are you ready? If you are ready, let me hear you shout, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Another person shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe. They all belong. One, two, three, go. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe. Make sure you're my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe. They all belong to Jesus. Hold it, hold it, bring it up. do here is not for fun, it's not for free. They are all spiritual. Do you believe it? Oh, yes. As you're doing that now, that headache, that waist when they are leaving you. Oh, yes. So do it like you mean it. And before you finish, you are ready to carry your blessings. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Yeah. Tell your neighbor, give me space. Never give me space. My knees, my toe, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe, they all belong to you. Two, sing it now. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe, they all belong to you. Don't let us die. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe, my head. My shoulder, my knee, my toe, my hand, my shoulder, my knee, my toe, they all belong to Jesus. Now that you have done this exercise, you must leave your seat now. You must leave your seat. You must leave your seat and move around. Are you ready? Oh my leg, carry me the go. Where you go? Oh my leg, carry me the go.
de go de go Call me de go Jesus call me de go de go de go Are you still in one place? Oh yeah Are you still in one place? No You can't be at a place No Oh yeah move 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 to where the Lord is calling you to Call me de go Jesus call me de go de go de go Call me de go
Your first Sunday. You've never worshipped here any Sunday. This is your first Sunday. Wherever you stand, can you carry your Bible? Carry your bag. Come and meet me here. Today is your first Sunday. Wherever you stand, carry your Bible. Carry your bag. Come and meet me in front here. God bless us to do that. Chewy. 
Shout hallelujah. Shout a Jericho pulling down hallelujah. The Lord is good. You are welcome in Jesus' name. You see, the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. You are here today, not by your own making. It's under the divine direction of God Almighty. And I've been hearing mind blowing testimonies of what God is doing in this place. You've been hearing it? Now, you want to know the secret? Now, this is a car and this is a plier. Now, I use this plier to repair the car. Who repaired the car? Is it me or the plier? This is a car, this is a plier. I use this plier to repair the car. Who repaired the car? Is it me or the plier? Good. By the grace of God, when you come to Omega Power Ministries, don't look at the plier, but look at the one holding the plier. And who is holding the plier? God Almighty. <laughs> Apostle Chibuzo is just a plier in the hand of God. All those testimonies, miracles we've been hearing, it's not done by... Uh, um, Apostle Chibuzo. There is someone holding the plier, and that is God Almighty. He's the one that does all those miracle testimonies you've been hearing about. Shout hallelujah. You see, you're coming here today is because God has opened your chapter. You're coming here today is because God has remembered you. And by the grace of God, you are going home with te testimony. Yeah. I say you are going home with your own testimony. Yeah. By the grace of God, I'll be giving you assignments which the Lord have directed. If you only you can do those assignments very well, you testify. You are special to OPM, but most especially you are special to God. That is why we have reserved a VIP seat for you. You go there, sit down. But make sure you don't leave here today without collecting your own assignment. It's free. You don't pay any money. If you collect it, then you testify like others have testified. God bless you. So don't sit at the back there. They are reserved for VIPs like you. Just go there, sit down, and wait. God bless you. You are a God that has never lost a battle. Let us stand up. Today is 7th of April, 2024. And today is taken from Genesis 26, 12 to 14. 
I read. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received that same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. For he had possession of flocks and possession of heads and great store of servants. And the Philistines envied him. I prophesy. Today, God will give you that blessing that will attract envy. I said, God shall give you that blessing that will attract envy. Because of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you go, whether it's a foreign land, you will prosper. You shall excel. Pray like this. Oh God, arise. Bless my feet. So that anywhere I go, I shall prosper. Oh God, arise. Bless my feet. So that anywhere I go, I shall prosper. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because of Jesus Christ, then we're praying. Lay on your chest. Anything in my life that will not allow me to prosper die this morning. Anything in my life that will not allow me to prosper die this morning. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Because of Jesus Christ, I will pray. Anything in my life that will not allow me to be raptured, die this morning. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Because of Jesus Christ, I will pray. Anything in my life dragging me to failure, die this morning. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Uh huh. Because of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. Wonderful and great God, I want to appreciate you for today. For you're a great God, you're a kind God, you're a loving God. There is none like you, and there is none that will ever be like you. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You're the changer, you changer. You are the reliable God, you are the all-sufficient God. Father, we have gathered here today to receive your throne of mercy. Father, Lord, I withdraw myself, and I present you. I reduce myself, so that you will be glorified. Come down in your power. Come down in your might. Let every today here today, the prayers, the testimonies, the deliverance, the prophecy, let everything be to your own glory and to the shame of that foolish man called stand the devil. Because Jesus now we pray. Let's give Jesus a clap on Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Now, I want, to, I want to do a practical example. Come, Excel, come. I want to show you something. Okay. 
I need somebody else. Come, you stand. Stand in front of this place. Now, this is a little girl. It's about, uh, how old are you? Uh, five years. Okay, five years. Now, if this girl now start challenging this man, eh? if he start challenging this man, knowing very well this man can just hold her like this and crush her, there must be something giving her mind. Shout hallelujah. She can only challenge this man if she has somebody. She has a bigger power backing her. Is she depending on the power? Is she relying on a power that is bigger than her and that is bigger than that one? Then she has no need to be afraid. God bless you. Go and sit down. The question is this. Who is behind you? Who is your backup? Amam onyen so, onyen so, onyen so na zo. Amam onyen so, obo Jesus. Shout out to For a governor to come and look at the building and say, demolish it. Normally, he does not have the power. But there's an authority that has been given to him, through of us. It is, it is the authority that is pulling down the building, not him. Shout earlier. It doesn't matter for David. One leg of Goliath is the size of David. One leg of Goliath, that is the size of David. David has never fought war before. David does not know, cannot even carry this in a spear. Because when Saul gave him the spear, he couldn't carry it. When they wore David armor, you know, the armor of war, he couldn't move. David had never fought war. Goliath had been fighting war from when he was small. The voice of Goliath give, makes people to sleep, not to sleep at night. For Goliath to come out and say, <laughs> today I will cut off your head. There is a power. The problem is this. The power it has always been there. But have we been able to harness that power? As a child of God, have you been able to harness, take, take advantage of the power of God? God wants us to harness his power. God wants us to utilize his power. God wants us to utilize his authority. The devil may be big, yes. Size of the devil is big. They may be powerful. But sometimes we don't, look, we don't need to look at the size of our problem. All we need to do is look at the size of our God. It's an insult. The office you are working, one small occultic man will poison you. It's an insult. As a child of God, that has a big God backing you, the one small big, <laughs> that are serving, they get head, they get mouth, but they need they talk, they get ear, but they need they hear, they get leg, but they need they walk. They have gods that they feed. You have God. That feed you. (laughs) 
<laughs> Shout hallelujah. You, they can mold their God. You, your own God, molds you. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> they can put their God inside their pocket. You can enter into God's pocket. It is time for Christians to know their God. See, they that know their God shall do what? You do exploits. You do exploit. It is time for you to know your rights as a child of God. Christians are now like uh, uh, in the, our uh, village uh, uh, voice. We have a um, uh, 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 WhatsApp group. So many of them are calling from abroad. One was saying, how many years? 20 years. 20 years he has never stepped his feet to the village. He's afraid. But when he heard what God have done, he said, this Christmas is coming. Because someone made a bold step. My parents died at early age. They're not supposed to die the time they died. How many years ago? Almost 20 years ago or so. When they are still young, they never enjoyed the fruit of their labor because of the wickedness in my father's house, because of the wickedness in my place. But I couldn't confront. I said, God, one day I shall confront these powers. You see, when I look at some teenagers that play with their parents, I pity them. You don't know what you have until you have lost it. You are meant to be cherishing them. I wish my parents are alive to see me today. But this one, you are playing with your parents. You are insulting them, talking to them anyhow. Because you don't know the value of what you have. You don't value them now. It, there will be a time when God will bless you. You say, Che, where are my parents to enjoy this thing God has given to me? They are not there. It will be strangers that will be enjoying it. Value those parents. If you are here, you're a teenager, you have been insulting your parents, you better go and apologize. In fact, before we start our message, if you are a teenager here, you know you have been stubborn to your parents. Stand up. I want to pray for you. So that you don't miss the blessing of today. If you know you have been stubborn, come, stand up. Oh yeah, come, come out. Come out here, let me pray for you. Quickly, run out now. Chino come here. Yes. Need now I begin to ask God to forgive you. Say, Father, I am sorry. Because the Bible says, obey your father and mother so that your days may be long. It means if you don't respect them, you will not live long. It means if you don't respect them, you will not live long. Ask God to forgive you. By your blood, Talk to God now. Talk to God. Ask God, I am sorry for disobeying my parents, for being stubborn, for disrespecting my parents, for insulting my parents, for 
challenging my parents. I am sorry. Amen. Father, I join them in this prayer and I kneel down. Have mercy. Have mercy upon these your wonderful children. Father, so that their star will shine. Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You said in your word, obey your father and mother so that your days may be long. Father, for these ones to live long, they need to respect their parents. Father, have mercy. Forgive them. They have come before your altar to ask for mercy. Have mercy upon them so that they will be great, so that their parents can enjoy them. Father, we come upon you. These ones that have knelt down here today, they will buy cars for their parents. They will build house for their parents. They will take their parents overseas for holiday. They will be greater than their parents. They will be a blessing to their parents. Father, let your mercy speak for your children. Let your mercy speak for them. Amen. Give them a second chance. Amen. Because of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Amen. Now, now listen to me. You are going to go. Parents, if you know your children are here, wherever you're seated, stand up. You're going to go to your parents now. You're going to kneel down and tell them, Daddy, Mommy, I'm sorry. I will not be stubborn to you again. I will not challenge you again. I will not call lady again. I will not make you to be angry again. Daddy, bless me. Mommy, bless me. Now, stand up and go wherever your parents are. Go. Let them pray for you. Yes. I'm waiting. Uh -huh. And those that don't have parents, come, let me pray for you. No, no, the teenagers, stay back, let me pray for you. Oh, no, stay on your seat, let me pray for you. But the ones that are parents are here, go there. Those that their parents are late, you can stand up so I can pray for you. By your word, the Charlotte, some trust in their horses. Who do you depend on? Who do you put your trust on? When you have a big God, each time I say, I keep saying, ah, these powers that snatched my parents at the tender age, that one day I'm going to confront them. But no power to go and confront them. 
That is why you need to depend on God. You need to rely on God. You need to depend on for you to be able to confront the devil, you must have power. You need power. Shout hallelujah. That's why. After that last Sunday message, I said there's going to be a crusade. I mean, not crusade, there's going to be fasting and prayer. I have to invite them. I said, listen, I told you, that was around 12 midnight, because the time of spiritual oppression is between 12 to 3. And that's the best time to capture powers. Don't play with 12 to 3. Never. These are very spiritual hour. So, as soon as it's after 12, I told the youth, the youth president, go, go and bring all, invite all the native doctors. If they are sleeping, wake them up. Tell them the king of the land wants to see them. But before embarking on this, this, I have to pray. Ask God for powers. Because this one, you want to confront powers. You want to confront dangerous powers. The powers that have been in existence so many years. The powers that, dis- that killed your parents, you are confronting them. The powers that so many people are afraid. The powers that have chased so many people out of the community. The powers that many, many people that travel abroad, they don't want to come back. The powers that have killed so many. The powers that everyone is afraid to challenge or confront. So I say, God, this work I'm doing, that like David, like the example I gave here, there is someone at the back. But these are deep spiritual powers I'm going to confront. God, give me power. Because it is your work I'm going to do, not my work. We need to cleanse this land. And cleansing in this land, there have to be one altar. And that's the altar of God. Because it made me to remember, even in my family, all the men from my father, my uncles, all of them, none of them is alive. The only one that is alive is my uncle, the one that comes here, chief. Do you know why they didn't touch him? Because they have already rendered him useless. They, he sleeps in pool house. I'm saying this. These are things you can confirm. He sleeps in pool house. He, he doesn't do anything. He just wipes away time. So they didn't touch him. So the ones that are trying to do something, they wipe them off. So only he in the many. But we were all watching. But when spiritual power came, I said, yes, it is time to redeem him. So I dragged him to OPM. And by then, he started praying. It was, it was not easy. Because number one, he was acute drunkard. Drinks fall here. It took time to begin to break him. But I found out that this is an elderly man. He needs a wife. So, that time when he lose you, I come again one day I say, and as I pray that first. Because say, the Bible says, commit their works into my hands and I will establish it. Father, I tell God, God, I need a wife for this my uncle. Because so that I can be balanced. So that when I do the prayer, I can be balanced. I need a wife. It was a Tuesday service. We were doing Tuesday service in Eliozu. After the service, I saw one lady, one single mother that, that sleeps in the church. I called her and said, come, you come. Come here. She came. I said, do you want to marry? Do <laughs> Unless I don't want to do something. 
As I finish praying, I go straight. I call down. Say, come here. Do you want to marry? Because already I know her history. Welfare, where's welfare? Welfare also knows her history because welfare that was assisting her, you know, she's homeless, she hasn't had anything. Okay. Welfare is the one assisting her. Do you want to marry? She said, yes. Because everybody has abandoned her. The man that got her pregnant abandoned her, so she's still in the church and all that. Say now. I call one of my cousins and they say, come, carry her now, as I'm talking now, take her to the village. Let her see, let her and my uncle see each other face to face. If my uncle like her and they like my uncle, then we we'll start marriage. <laughs> Shout the hallelujah. And by the grace of God, they reach village, they like each other. Eh, eh, eh. Next thing. Where's your place? Acquire bomb. Went, paid the bride price, do everything, did the marriage blessing. Um, then, uh, 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 today, God has blessed them with twins. They have. And that my uncle have become stable. All those other ones have died, including my father. God, the wickedness. I don't know the wickedness in your village. As you are listening to me, the same power that paralyzed the wickedness in my village shall paralyze the wickedness in your community. I'm not hearing your amen. You sit down. So, with that anger, with that wickedness, I said, Today I must rescue this place. Now, God has made me a king, I'm going to rescue it. So I said, Then I go and bring them. They brought out the whole native daughter in my house in the village. So I told them, I started telling them about the love of Christ. I said, God, God loves us so much. And that is the reason why He sent His only begotten Son. To come and die for us. He loves you. Now look at how many of you like the way this community is? They say they don't like the way it is. I say, good. You like the way people are dying, dying, dying. You like the way that the youth don't like coming to the village. They say they don't like it. You like the way everywhere is like this. They say they don't like it. And do you know that there's a solution? They look at me. I said, do you know that there's a solution? The solution is Jesus Christ. Because when Jesus comes to a place, light shines. The Bible says, light shines in darkness, and darkness could not comprehend it. So, they now looked at each other. I said, now, God, when I prayed and God said I should be king, God has a reason why he wants me to be king. And that is to, for progress to come into this community. Now, Two authors cannot be in the same place. I'm the king of this place, and the author of God have come. The author of darkness must leave. <laughs> so, there's an option. I don't have a problem. You can repent and become born again. Or, you can leave the community and continue your trade somewhere else. But if it's in this place, no more native doctor in this community. You know, when you have spiritual power, you speak with authority. Because did you know if it do you anything? Did you? You don't become granite. It may chop them like granite. Say today, we don't want this. So you said they give your life to Christ. So they now said, oh, but this is the way we feed our family. This is the way we did. This is the way we feed. This is, if we leave this, okay, we want to, be, we want to repent. But if we repent, how do we feed our family? So then you change other business. I will assist you to set up a business. But for native doctor, I'm sorry, it cannot work here. Then I gave them instance. I said, I went to, I normally go to Rumola to go and preach to 
prostitute. But when I preach to them, when I come back the next day, I see 90% are back. Only 10% or 20% have gone. It's no progress. So I left. So when God prepared, we built an estate. We now went to the same prostitute. We said, now, to repent. And if we repent, if we repent what do we do? How do we feel? It's okay. We'll, we'll rehabilitate you and start up business for you. And by the grace of God, we are able to empty that hotel. And to the glory of God, many of them are married. I think they did Thanksgiving last Sunday. The ones that are married, they did Thanksgiving last Sunday. Many of them are no longer doing prostitution. They're no longer doing all those things again. They are happily married now. What a progress from prostitute to marriage. And I give them instance too of um, armed robbers. We spoke to them. They said, okay, we are surrendering our gun. How do you do? It's okay. We will give you accommodation. We will rehabilitate you. We will absorb you. And we integrate you into the society. And by the grace of God, we have assisted so many of them to get a job. Abby, one company came, one Chinese company came and said, these people you are rehabilitating, I need 15 of them to come and for employ immediate employment. Abby, the man is not even a member of OPM. He didn't do the announcement in his own church. He knows his own church is not rehabilitating kidnappers, armed robbers, killers. He knows OPM is doing it. We do, by the grace of God, OPM do those things that is difficult to do. OPM converts armed robbers. OPM converts kidnappers. OPM converts killers. OPM now converts native doctors. That is what is called soul winning. That is what is called evangelism. That is what is called the gospel. Not every Sunday you come here and preach the gospel. The gospel is going out, reaching out the unreached and bringing them to the kingdom of God. And by the grace of God, one of them, after destroying all his uh, and altar and shrine, has now, he is going to start, uh, he has converted to be a pastor and he's starting church this month. One of the, one of the native doctors. Shout hallelujah. Today, light will enter your community. And all those people that have been poisoning people, all the people that have been killing people, by this anointing in this altar, they shall surrender to our Lord Jesus Christ. I said they shall surrender to our Lord Jesus Christ. They shall surrender to our Lord Jesus Christ. Please sit down. We cannot do this if you don't depend on God. If you depend on your power, if you depend on your money, if you depend on connection, you fail. But if you depend on God, you will get victory. So today, deliverance is titled, Depending on God. Judges, chapter 7. Judges 7. Now, you have to listen attentively. I want everybody to open it. Everybody, open it. Judges 7. Read from 1. To seven. Then Jeroboam, who is Gideon, uh -huh. and all the people that were with him, rose up early and pitched beside the well of Harod, mm -hmm. so that the hosts of the Midianites were on the north side of them, by the hill of Morris in the valley. And the Lord said unto Gideon, Now listen to the Lord said unto Gideon, uh -huh. The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, my own hand has saved me. These people that you are using to go and fight the Midianites, there are too many. Because God, let me tell you, Saul is a very tall man. I think he's 
taller than almost everybody in Israel. Talk, God could have said, Saul, go and fight Goliath. People will say, because tall, Saul is tall. Goliath is tall. That is why they were able, uh, 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 Saul was able to defeat Goliath. But because God wants to take his, the glory himself, God does not like to share his glory. God looked for a short man, a small boy, the last born in Jesse's house, to go and fight a giant. So, <laughs> crowd, God said, they are too much. Reduce them. Continue. Uh -huh. Now they are forgotten. Proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there return of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remain ten thousand. Amen. There were thirty-two thousand of the children of Israelites to fight 135,000. Hello? 32,000 Israelites to fight the enemy, the Midianite, who are 135,000. And God said, 32,000 is too much. 32,000 is too much to fight 135,000. God said, Go and reduce the people. They are too much. Reduce them. Read from again. again. Uh -huh. Now therefore go to proclaiming uh -huh. the ears of the people saying, uh -huh. Whosoever is fearful and afraid, anybody that is afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there return of the people 20 and 2,000. And there remain 10,000. Inside the 32,000, 12,000 drop. 20, sorry, 20,000 drop. How many remaining? 10,000. Shout hallelujah. 22,000 remaining. Shout hallelujah. 10,000 drop. I mean, 22,000 drop. Only 10,000 remain. 22,000 drop. Only 10,000 to fight 135,000. Imagine. They were 32,000. Now, God said, they are too much. Go, tell, go and find way. Did you say anybody with a fear? Maybe somebody will just marry new, new. Just my marry wife. You know, you know, want to go what? Tell the person to drop. Anybody will not get my boss. When they said, you want to go and fight war? Everybody run out. He said, those who will not get their mind no strong, tell them to drop. After they did the announcement, 22,000 just turn back, they go house. Only 10,000 remain to fight 135,000. <laughs> Continue. And the Lord said unto Gideon, the people are yet too many. Ah, ah. And the Lord said, they are too many. 10,000 to fight 135,000. And God said there are too many. Say so reduce them. Now, continue. Bring them down onto the water, and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, this shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee, mm -hmm. the same shall not go. Continue. So he brought them to the people under the water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue, as a dog lappeth, him shall I set by himself. Likewise, everyone that bieth down upon his knees to drink, and the number of them that lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, we are 300 men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And the now, Lord, God said, 
you've done the first selection. The first selection is this. If you know you just marry new, raise your hand up. If you know you, 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 you know my enough strong to go to this world, raise your hand up. 22,000 raised their hand up. So they left. The remaining 10,000 to fight 135,000. Because, eh, mm, this 10,000 is still plenty. 10,000 to fight at five, there's still many. Take them to the river. I will do the selection myself. God did not tell him the secret he was in doing the selection. I would select myself. So all of them. Take them to the river, let them go drink water. When they reach there. So everybody drink water. Some people were drinking water like this. Why some carry their mouth? Like Otondo. They... I ain't gonna say, see these people who put their mouth like this. They're not ready to war because if you drink water like this, the enemy come and strike. But those people that are drinking like this, it means they are vigilant. <laughs> say wisdom of war. Now, do you know how many call men? Only 300 people. Inside 10,000. Only 300 people drink like this. The remaining people drank like this. So now, 300 to fight 135,000. Where do you start from? Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Now, if you want to do ratio, if you do want to do plus and minus, It means for every 400 uh, uh, Midianites, no only one uh, Israelite go fight. How will you be able to defeat one person? Because if you say 300 to fight 135,000, if you divide them, you will be say you will be one person to 450, one person to 450, one person to 450. How will you do this fight? It means it is only God that can help you to do this fight. God will give you power that will shock your enemies. God will give you victory that will shock all your enemies. God will give you that kind of victory that how did it happen? Because they will look at themselves. They say this person is a already finished case. We'll finish him. He's too small. And suddenly, because God is in your sight, you bring him down. Today, I don't know that Pharaoh that is giving you sleepless night. After today's deliverance, that Pharaoh shall fall down. I'm not hearing your amen. I said that your Pharaoh shall fall down. 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 That your Pharaoh shall fall down. Because of Jesus Christ that we are prayed. Please sit down. We are going to learn some lessons from this Bible verse we just read. Number one lesson. God's strength does not depend on number. God's strength does not depend on number. It doesn't depend on how many people fighting you. Hey, but people fighting me, there are many. People fighting me, there are many. But let me tell you, one with God is what? And even though they are teaming up in their office to fight you, you will defeat them one by one. Even though they are teaming up in your village to fight you, you will defeat them one by one. Even though they are teaming up. The Bible says, 
they will come against us in one way. And they shall be scattered in seven ways. Stand up and pray this. Oh God, arise. Scatter them in seven ways. That have ganged up to fight me. Scatter them in seven ways that have ganged up to fight me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Because of Jesus Christ, then we are praying. Please sit down. Lessons we can learn from the Bible verse we read. Lesson number two. Victory only comes from God, not from man. True victory, true victory comes only from God Almighty, not from man. That is why the Bible says, I shall look unto the hills, from whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. Put your trust on God only. God may use man to rescue you, to fight for you. But put your trust on him, not on man. Because man can fail you. But God can never fail you. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Lessons we can learn from the Bible verse. Number three. Those that were returned back were not access. They were liabilities. They did not come with their whole hearts. They, they are not serious for battle. They just joined. They didn't have the conviction. So God rejected them. Make yourself an access in the house of God. In fact, make yourself an access to the kingdom of God. Make yourself an access to, to, to church, to the house of God. Don't just be a Sunday, Sunday medicine. Just come to church. You are not active in any department. Remember, when you work for God, God works for you. Look for a department that belongs to. Do something for God that you can use as a prayer point to ask for something. Could you remember how you have been sowing this seed? How I have been doing this in your house? Remember, I normally come to clean your house. I normally come to sweep the church. I normally come to do this. Use that as a point of contact. Shout hallelujah. Have a prayer point. Something you use as a prayer point. That's why OPM have very, very strong prayer points. If you are a tighter here, you have a very strong and a strong prayer point. Say God. When the enemy is attacking your finance, you, you Remind God, God, remember, it is through my tight that so many women are alive today that could have died in the opium free hospital. God, you cannot allow them to take away this my, to this my garden because it's through this garden, this garden I'm eating. That is what I'm using to pay tight, which women are delivering safely in the opium free hospital. It is through my tight. Children are going to school, especially autistic children. By the grace of God, OPM Free Autistic School is the only free autistic school in the world. You take God. The enemy is attacking my, the source where I pay the tithe, which this school is being run. 
which many of these children that have lost hope, that are, Father, will you allow them to take away this migraine? Say, oh Lord, look at the millions of children going to school, those that are passed out. We have many of them that started from the primary school. We didn't, when they enter secondary school, we still, we still train them to university. Many of them are in university. Many of them are graduated. Many have testified here that they have graduated. They started with the OPM free school. And today, they are graduating university. They are working. See God. So many children that have lost hope of going to school. It is through the third and pain. You see, let me tell you, OPM is the, is the best place to use to do prayer points. No, I mean it. Let's face facts. Because the Bible says, show me a strong reason. What is the strong reason? Father, you know, it's, let me not lose the job. You know, it is through my tight that my pastor is buying private jet, which is using to carry the poor people. Yes, he's using the private jet to carry poor people. That is not a prayer. That is not a, 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 a strong reason. What is the strong reason? Is it strong reason? You know? <laughs> Father, it is through my tight. My pastor built school. But I'm, we are paying school fees of one million naira. It's not a strong reason. Say, give me a strong reason. Because Jesus loves the poor. He, he hears the cries of the widows, the less privileged. That is why when he came, he didn't go to the synagogue. He went to the streets, to the prostitutes. Remember, it is through my diet that these arm robbers are being rehabilitated. They are learning skills. They are not doing arm robbery again. Remember, it is through my diet that we are rehabilitating these, um, these commercial sex workers. They no longer do prostitution. We rehabilitate them, open billet for them. He has a strong reason to pray. Shout hallelujah. But if now, every Sunday, I say, offering time, um, blessing time, I gather the offering. I just use and they enjoy for me and my wife. Which prayer point will you use? Tell me, which prayer? How will you, what reason will you give to God? Say, God, uh, Maybe they want to take away your contract. They want to take away. You don't know the. How do I? What is the legal ground? Why are you praying? No legal ground. Because that resources is being channeled in a wrong source. It is being channeled in a wrong way. God is strong reason. I know so many people that when the enemy threatened, they're here. I don't want to call them out. So many. They said, lie, lie, I can't lose this contract. I told them, come, neither here. I carried a petition when I write against them, throw for altar here. I said, God, you know these serious people, they are tight as. They are tight, you need to speak for them. Because if now they don't pay the tight, remember the free school, remember the free hospital. Just imagine, only a single day, only one single day, the OPM free hospital closed down. Two people died. Two people that have been booked for operation died. One of them, her children are in my house now. One of them. Because the man had become so devastated. I have to go personally to his house, console him. He said, his wife, this, this, this. So the children are in my house. Only because there was problem in the community and the hospital closed down for only one day. Then imagine if it's one week. So your offering at night is a legal ground for God to position your seat where you are sitting. That is why it's impossible for OPM to close down. God is seriously in love with OPM. Because OPM is not just a church. 
OPM is a revolution. That is why when the enemy came like a flood, I brought out the reasons. Say, the enemy must lose this fight. No matter how they are fighting, I brought out reasons and the enemy was defeated. The enemy that are not happy with God, God, they started with a happy boy, they went to the border family and went and deceived them. All these criminals, you see, one by one, God will be striking them down. The wicked shall never go unpunished. Systematically, in a single, in three months, they brought this one, brought this one, all because they are threatened at what God is doing in OPM. And it's backed up by some pastors. Because they don't like what God is doing in this place. But they don't have a strong reason to fight. We have a strong reason. I have a strong reason. And the strong reason, I brought it forth to God. I said, this is my strong reason. That's why we never stopped. Instead, between that time, open more free schools, more free schools. We are sending more people more abroad. Shout out, Hallelujah. In that, in the midst of the crisis, God embarrassed the church. God was bombarding the church. In the midst of that time, the enemy was doing their mumurity in a locality. We received 5,000 bags of rice. <laughs> we share rice, so the rice don't get finish. In the midst of their useless attack, God gave five bags. After again, two bags, almost 7,000 bags. The money we are coming in, gifts we are coming in. Blessings. Hard currencies we are pouring in. So we are doing more. It they shock them. They say, we thought these people are under attack. That is when they, they uh, uh, money no day again. But we are chinek now, we are going. Because God is in charge of OPM. Even that time, that was when the governor of Abia State came. Abi came for the birthday in the midst of all those attacks. I didn't even know he was going to come. Now, he said, he said, man of God. I believe all those things there, all those noises, social media. First, he said he was not going to come. He said he was sending somebody. I said, okay, I'm waiting. 24 hours, he canceled all the meeting he was holding abroad. Take flight immediately. And called and said, Come, see, I'm coming. I will be there, live. That is he who knows the value of the spiritual work. So, all those attacking you, they are arranging a very big table for you. <laughs> and they are fighting you, God is preparing a big table for you. And they are fighting you, God is preparing a big table for you. Shout hallelujah. Important facts about depending on God. Number one, those that depend on God always have the final laugh. Those that depend on God have the final laugh. Because you depend on God, you will have the final laugh. Look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They say, I will not bow. If I perish, I perish. Now, the people that, because they say they will not bow to Mumu Firewood, 
that those people call their God. Say, no, I can't bow to those things. So I'm moving it. The people that carry Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego into the fire. Fire burned them. But the people they are carrying, go, they catch them. <laughs> God turned the fire into six horsepower split units. Then God can send angel to go and serve them a cup of tea. So when the people look, excuse me, I thought we threw three people inside. They say yes. But I'm seeing four people. Now angel where they serve them tea. How are you? Take a cup of tea? Is it coffee, coffee or tea? Coffee. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee or tea? Today, that place they are pushing you. That is where God will decorate you. I'm not hearing your amen. I'm not hearing your amen. Look at. They ganged up against Daniel. Daniel said, No. They put a law. Anybody that pray, go try me to lions then. Daniel can't open the window more. Come pray. They now carry Daniel. The, Lord, the king said, throw it to God, throw it to the lion's den. Nobody the king's mind, no. They threw him into the lion's den. Thinking that the lion would devour him. As Daniel landed, blah! The lion said, food don't come. The lion said, ah! Are you mad? Look that person very well. His father is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Lion does not eat. When Daniel was in his house, he was sleeping in a mat. But when he arrived in the lion's den, the, one of, the head of lions, uh -huh. our guy picking don't come. Oh yeah, lions, smoke and lie down. All the lions can't lie down. Daniel now sleep on foam. Let me tell you, that place the enemy is pushing you, they are pushing you to your miracle. I say your enemy, they are pushing you to your miracle. I say your enemy are pushing you to your miracle. I'm telling you, if you calculate between the time the enemy fought against OPM, from when we started OPM till now, then from the time after the fight till now, have you seen the speed of achievement of OPM between that time till now? What God has used OPM to do in that short period of time cannot be measured, cannot be calculated, cannot be explained. In the midst of the crisis, the committee said, it is him who worked as king, no other person. In the midst of the crisis, people were sowing good seed. We share, till, till now, in fact, the multitude, yesterday I received how many cartons of tomato and uh, maggi? Well, yesterday. The man I've never met him before. This uh, the man that owns uh, Gino, is it? Huh? What is the mother thing? It's not, not Gino. Huh? 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 Erisco. The MD sent them. So they pack. Ah, just sh shift. It's in plenty. He said, You have so many children you are feeding. You have crowd. People are seeing. People know what is happening. People know the church that is sowing in people's life. It is not easy. 
if you calculate how many people opium fits in a day, huh, in a day, just from church, tithe and offering. Imagine if we use that money and open a big restaurant. You know how much you'll be making if you are putting that kind of money. But no, you are using it to feed people free of charge. Imagine the estates. If you want to collect rent, you know how much you collect rent. But no, people are living free of charge. Imagine the hospital. If you want to be collecting money, you know how much we we'll are making every day. Imagine the free school. If we are collecting school fees, do you know how much opium we we'll are making every day? But what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Seek first the kingdom and its righteousness. Then what? All other things shall be added unto you. When your focus is God, how to make God happy, how to make God happy, how to invest on human beings. Because, let me tell you, whether you like it or not, yes, it's good to design church. Church is good to design. It's good to beautify this church. I thank God for what the men and women are doing. Thank God for, the, for uh, Elder Malachi, for his vision, for the interlock to be put around. Yes, it's good. It's not that the church don't have money to do it. Have money. But we are using it to invest on human. So, all those who put in it along, God is blessing you. As you are putting those in the log, now, instead of us to use that money to put in the log, we're using it. Free school, free hospital, scholarship, picking people from the streets. If you know how many people, how many children that police have brought, people are abandoned on the street. They will carry these children. Police, I'm talking, I'm saying it's police. They will carry these people to, to, to mother lay baby home. Mother lay people will reject them. The same mother will say, take them to OPM. Police will carry the children and bring to OPM. Tell me, why would God not be happy? Look at the autism school. Some of the children that cannot talk before, they are now talking. You think it's the teaching they are teaching them there? No, it is God. One of the parents were telling me, oh, Daddy, thank you very much. Oh. Hey, you people are doing great work. Your teachers are doing very well. My daughter cannot speak before. Oh, now she's speaking. I say, it's not the teachers. It's okay. It's not the teachers. Oh, it's God. Oh, Cheneke. Come. If teacher carry a knife, open the brain, and pour something inside. If God has no day, the picking no go know anything. But if God's hand day, you don't need to stress too much. You just write one, two, three. Omele. Just like Elijah and the, and the prophets of Baal. They were dancing. They cut themselves with knife. Still fire, no come. But what did Elijah do? They, they prayed from morning till night. Their small G gods could not answer them. So today they were using knife to throw their body. God, answer. But Elijah came. Come. I better bring water, come. He said, excuse me, water and fire, and they walk together. He said, yes. Oh, to Chineke. Oh, Chineke. Oh, Chineke. Oh, Chineke. Oh, Chineke. That's how they get the water. Pour, 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 pour. When they fill the place with water, then they repaired the altar. He first repaired the altar, and added the food, they refilled the water. He just prayed one prayer point. <laughs> The prayer point was one minute. 
Let me tell you, that's why you know prayer. We don't pray long prayers. People say, Daddy, just come, touch me like this. No. Result is not about the long, longevity of the prayer, it's about power. I've seen a situation where they say, Come, they're dying. And I was feeling very, very uncomfortable. That was when I was a uh, uh, I was not a pastor then, no. And you know me, I have ways of looking for trouble. I thank God now I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm more matured now than that time. That time, eh? my name, eh? they were there binding up. I was looking, I was so uncomfortable. And they were trying to hold the person. The person was in my own way, I just go there. I know they are not the deliverance group. Ask the people that know me, matter of fact. I just went there, I just do the person like this. Bam. The person just became still. One minute hitting, bam. No, I didn't say bind cast. But they were there binding the guys in the prayer warriors. Just bam. The person just became still. Bam. Let me tell you, ask God for power. Say, God, give me power. He said, seek you, fine. No, because I'm open to you. You need power, oh. Hello? He said, he gave us power to get wealth. God will give you, open your hands. Stand up, say, oh Lord. Oh, Lord. I, need I need your power. I cannot do it on my own. <laughs> open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, I cannot do it on my own, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Because of Jesus Christ, then we pray. Please sit down. Power is not about reading 100 verses of the Bible. Power is about demonstration of the raw power of God. When God gives you power, you don't need to make noise too much. Shout hallelujah. Important facts about depending on God. When, when you depend, listen to this, very important. When you depend on God, you will look foolish in the eyes of men, but wise in the sight of God. When you depend on God, people will look at you. What is this man doing? How can 300 people fight 135,000 people? It looks foolish. It's not logical. But it brings the result. Shout hallelujah. It's not logical. The spiritual things are not logical. They're not logical. So, prepare to look foolish in the sight of men, but wise in the sight of God. How can you all be doing mercy prayer? You're not talking to anybody. Off your phone. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon me. One prayer point. He looks foolish, but he's wise in the sight of God. You are praying your midnight prayer. He looks People say, see this man, why they shout for night? He looks foolish in the sight of men, but wise in the sight of God. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Im important facts about depending on God. When you depend on God, God will never disappoint you. God will never, never, never disappoint you. Never. Man can disappoint you, but God can never disappoint you. Important for the bad depending on God. God sometimes delays your miracle so that he can move you to, he will, to know what's in your heart and to locate you to your divine destination. To know what, whether you will give up and say, This God, I, I cannot wait. Let me go to Native Daughter. 
today as you wait upon God. The Bible says, the vision is for an appointed time. Though it tally. Wait for it. It will surely come to pass. It will may tally. If it tallies, it means God is trying to prepare it well. Because God's blessing is not in domino dus. God's blessings is a goosey. Obono. Ewedu. Onubu. It has to cook well. Done well. You eat it well. Maybe two minutes to do this. You put up a fire. As you told us, you don't done. You bring it out. Shout the hallelujah. Today, God will give you that blessing that will cut a quick in your family. I'm not hearing your amen. God will give you that blessing that will cut earthquake in your family. I'm not hearing your amen. Please sit down. Important facts about depending on God. When you depend on God, you are saying, God, you are my only helper. God, you are my only helper. Important fact about depending on God. The more you depend on God, the more you find him more dependable. He's always dependable. He doesn't fail. Important facts about depending on God. God does not want us to do extraordinary things. No. God wants us to do ordinary things in extraordinary way. So don't strive. You want to do, do it extraordinary. You don't have the power. Just do it your own way in an extraordinary way. And you see God making it in an extraordinary way. Don't strive. Don't want to do it. Extra, you don't have that extraordinary power. Do it that ordinary way and allow God to turn to add the extraordinary on it. Shout hallelujah. Important facts about depending on God. To, pe- to keep God at the center of your life, you require regular rededication and regular recharging. Regular rededication and regular recharging. You need to recharge that car. You need to put fuel. If you carry a car now, you are moving from here to Oguawusa. If you don't top for it, what will happen? It will quench on the road. That is why on Sundays we pray quality prayers that can carry us throughout the week. You can on Tuesday you can come and refill the gas and continue. We 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 have ve- we invest so much on prayers because prayer is the key. We go, we don't work in the flesh. We are not worrying after the flesh. There are spiritual battles going on in spiritual places. And the only way you can win it is through spiritual battle. Let us stand up. I want to ask God to forgive you any way you have not depended on him. Any way you have relied your own, on your own wisdom, on your own connection, on your own power, Talk to God. Ask God, I'm sorry. Forgive me for not depending solely on you. Anywhere I've depended on man, I'm sorry. Because Jesus never prayed. I repeat after me, Father Lord, I'm a sinner. I have sinned against you. And I've done so many terrible things against you. Have mercy upon me. I promise, starting from today, 
I will never go back to my old ways again. I will never go back to my sins again. Give me a second chance. Because Jesus name will pray. Wonderful and great God say, what if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn it for their wicked ways, they will from heaven and I'll forgive their sins and will heal their land. Heal the land of children today, cleanse them, wash them, let them water and snow. Because Jesus name will pray. Today you are new creature, all things have passed away, and everything has become new. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Pray like this. Every fight. Ah, are we ready to pray? Every fight. Going on against my faith in God. Every fight. Going on against me because of my faith in God. No, no, fact, pray like this. Every fight going on against me, every fight attacking my faith in God. Good, that's that one. That's the right one. Every fight attacking my faith in God be defeated now by the blood of Jesus. Every fight. Going on against my faith in God. Be defeated now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Because of Jesus Christ's name, we are praying. In the presence of those answering me, where is my God? Oh God, arise. Give me that breakthrough that will shock all of them. In the presence of those answering me, where is my God? Oh God, arise. Give me that breakthrough that will shock all of them. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Because of Jesus Christ, then we are praying. Whether the devil like it or not. I, Chibuzo Gift Chinyene, must rewrite the history of my family for good. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Because of Jesus Christ, then we are praying. I find out that in my family there is so much failure. Now, when I wanted to fully go into ministry, one of the first things I did was 
I visited my father's house and saw one, one very big cross, altar of Satan, in the middle of my father's compound. I thank God it's my father that built that house. So, uh -huh, you cannot challenge me removing it. If it's an urban compound, you might, uh, they might challenge. My father, I pull them out. Carry and put his hand to come and come back. Pray like this. Anything, close your eyes. Take your spirit to your father's compound. Anything buried in my father's compound. On a mission for me to fail. Be uprooted now by fire. There is somebody here. There is a sword. Sword of failure in your father's compound. Sword. They pierce it like a sword. Anything buried in my father's compound. I see a live chicken, white chicken. They buried it. No good thing. Every good thing dies. Anything buried in my father's compound. For me to fail. Be uprooted now by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Because of Jesus Christ, they were praying. Any native doctor that has collected contract against me, close down. <laughs> because of you, that native doctor will close down. Maybe you have been handling other cases, but because he has collected a case on your behalf, they are closing down. Any native doctor that has collected that has collected contract against me by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, close down. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. <laughs> close down. Because of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. I'm getting a message. I'm hearing spiritual exile. Spiritual exile. I don't know whether you're watching me or from abroad or whether you are standing for your brother. What I don't know is this. Some, there's a spiritual transaction that needs to be reversed. Now, send to exile. Spiritual exile. They want that person to remain overseas and die there and they bury that person. That is why. Listen. You want to come back, that person. You want to come back. But no, they make sure you don't have paper. You've done everything to get your permission so that you can come to Nigeria. No. You are in exile. They want you to remain abroad, die in abroad, and be buried in abroad. Today, that spiritual exile is expiring. <laughs> Every arrow of spiritual exile 
fired against my loved one. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Expire now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Spiritual exile. Fired against my loved one. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Expire now. Every arrow of spiritual exile. Fired against my loved one. Fired against me. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Expire now. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Because of Jesus Christ, name we are praying. <laughs> uh, I pray, no. <laughs> Prayer is every spiritual embargo placed upon my finance. They say this, your finance, this is the limit it will go. You can't grow more than this. Every spiritual embargo placed upon my finance. Be revoked now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Uh -huh. Because of Jesus Christ, then we are praying. We are going to pray for River State. We are going to ask God to show mercy and let peace prevail in this state. Shout hallelujah. This me being born in River State automatically makes me a River's man. So the peace of Jerusalem is my concern. Shout hallelujah. And the God let us happens to be my children. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. The major graduators, both are my children. So we have to pray for peace. Because when there is peace, there is progress. When there is peace, we're going to ask God to come in. Shout hallelujah. By the grace of God, this land where opium is, when it was seized, it was Governor Nyeson Wiki that released the land to us. He did the road. Shout hallelujah. He also gave the church uh, 200 million. He gave us bags of rice, more than uh, 2,000 bags of rice and all that. He has sown. And I'm saying this, and if, if I can be, you know, verified or anywhere, for me to have um, known Sim 
long time ago, even before he became a governor, because even when the governor paid in, gave, donated 200 million to the church, it is same was accounted generator, same that called me and said, oh, the governor had given, please, which account should the money be paid? It was same. So when the governors, you know, we're having a meeting with the governor, Governor Ambassador Akawa and me. He said that Ambassador Akawa should bring him and me meeting him, you know, first, first uh, one on one for the first time is through the governor. And Sim is a good man. Uwike is a good man. Two of them is a good man. So we're going to pray for peace to reign in this state. Shout hallelujah. How God will do it, we don't know. God works in ways we cannot see. Shout hallelujah. How God will do it, I don't know. You might expect God to come through this door. He will come like this. You expect God to come through this door. He will come like this. So, Sim is a good man. Governor Wicke is a good man. Both of them are good people. But God needs to intervene in this state. Sim had been to my house in Jarwe. Very good man. Very, very good man. Shout hallelujah. Very soft spoken. Don't talk much. <laughs> Both of them, you know, are good people. Sim is God fearing. In fact, we need to pray. Let us stand up. Let us stand up. Shout hallelujah. And in OPM here, we have PDP, we have APC. We have Labour, we have Abga, we have all parties here, two of us. All the parties, all the political parties are here in OPM. Shout hallelujah. So we're going to ask God to intervene in the crisis going on in this state. Pray it in your own. You know, all we need is peace. Anywhere you want to direct your prayers, anywhere you want to direct your prayers, direct your prayers. But what we want is peace. The only, way, the only way God wants to do it, let him do it. But all we need is peace so that progress can take place. I'm not going to give you a prayer point to pray. Shout hallelujah. I don't want to look like oh, I'm for this person. or I'm for this. I don't. So I'm not going to give you a prayer point. I want you to pray from your heart. Pray to God that answers prayers. I have been praying for me to come out to this altar to ask us to pray. You know, it has been giving me a lot of worry. A lot of, what I mean, serious worry. I have been worried. Seriously. So, it's, when, you sh when there's a collective prayer, we get quicker results. Because prayer is the only weapon. It's the only weapon. So, I want us individually I'm not giving you a prayer point individually ask God to intervene you can even any way you want God to intervene use that prayer point and pray any way you want to use it but what you want is peace so begin to pray
because of Jesus Christ, now we pray. Father, we thank you for this answered prayer. We have all prayed individually. Different prayer points. Father, you are the one that answers prayer. As I kneel down before your humble throne, the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, we need your divine intervention. <laughs> Father, we are in the month of April. Remember, you are God that answers me whenever I pray to you. Whenever I pray to you, answer me. Father, let there be a solution this April. <laughs> April 2024. Let this problem not pass April 2024. <laughs> How you will do it, we don't know. But you are the God that make it a way that seems to be no way. Father, we ask for your divine intervention. Because when two elephants fight, it is the grass that will suffer. Please, intervene in your power. Intervene in your power. Intervene in your power. So that Liver State will be in peace. And your name alone will be glorified. Because of Jesus Christ, then we are prayed. Let's give Jesus a clap of him. Let us stand up with our tithes, sacrifice, pledges, and seed. Tithes, sacrifice, pledges, and seed. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for your children have come with their tithes, come with their sacrifice, come with their pledge, come with their seed. Father, let the heavens be open unto them and let favor, me favor in your life. As your tithes, your sacrifice, your pledge, your seed, touching this altar, the altar of God shall rise against every altar erected against you. Because of Jesus Christ, then we are prayed. You can drop your tithe in the altar and go to your seats. Drop your tithe in the altar and go to your seats. I am going, I am, yes, I am. I am going, I am today. I am going, I am, yes, I am. Into the presence of God Into the presence of Jesus I'm going higher today I am going higher
Stand up with our general offering. 
If you have testimonies of what God has done in your life, please, can you go to the bar for interview? Testimonies. Go to the bar for interview. Pray like this. With this, my offering, I recover all my withheld money. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Because Jesus never pray. of God, God will build your heart for you. Let's stand out that building offering. Pray like this. Father Lord, as I build your house today, build my own for me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. As I build your house today, build my own for me. Father Lord, as I build your house today, build my own for me, because Jesus name will pray.
people are watching us all over the world because of the great contribution of the OPM TV partners. OPM TV partners. <clears throat> Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I bless the TV partners, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, for, and for divine intervention. O oh Lord, bless them. Bless their finance. Open doors. Because in Jesus' name we are prayed. Many lives have been saved through the hospital partners. Father, in the open partner, come out. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bless the hospital partners in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the divine intervention. Bless them, favor them, increase them, protect them, give them divine health because Jesus now will pray. Church growth. Be opening branches every day because of the great contribution of the church growth. Church growth. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bless the church growth now in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. And for divine intervention, bless them, wound us, and light their coast because Jesus name we pray. Amen. Okay, we have two people that are wedding. Want to do pre marriage presentation? Uh, Brother John Harry White, Sister Victoria Amadi. Come out for a marriage presentation. Brother Christopher Wabudo, Sister Precious Shoma, come out. Then the families of Nkem, Guremado, they're having just their Thanksgiving. Can they just come? Please come, come. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Family, wonderful family of uh, elder in came they're having a Thanksgiving. Please lay down, let the church stretch forth their hands and bless them. Father, bless your children now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, they have come to thank you for the success, for the way everything went smoothly. We give you glory, everybody traveled from far and wide and came back safely. There was no problem. Father, we return all the glory back to you. Because of Jesus Christ's name, we are prayed. God bless. announcement. We have the Dr. Jesus bangle. We have the Dr. Jesus stickers. We have some book written by the general overseer. We have the Dr. Jesus calendar. Those coming for the first time, you will be here so I can give you assignment. Those that have testimonies, please go to the back for interview. Let's invite. Okay, those that are wedding, where are they? 
the names. Brother John Harry White, where are you? This is Brother John Harry White. Please show the screen big. Show the screen big. Brother John Harry White is wedding Sister Victoria Amadi. And Brother Christopher. Huh? Christopher, see what I see now. See. Okay, okay. Why are you telling me I'm not in now? Brother like Christopher Wobodo and Sister Precious Wanji. These two are wedding, and these two are wedding. Is there anybody that have any reason why these people should not be wedded? Should speak now and forever hold your peace. Neither. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, what God has joined together, no man can put us under. Your wedding shall be successful. Everything shall go smoothly. He that find it, find it good after the favor. The door of favor open up to you. Because Jesus' name we pray. Do it done. This wedding is sick this Saturday. 20th. Let's invite the secretary for announcements. OPM Dr. Jesus in action announcements this is Omega Power Ministries worldwide the place where Dr. Jesus is truly in action the land of restoration, the very last bus stop, and by the grace of God, OPM is the fastest growing church in Nigeria and beyond. To newcomers, you're once again welcome for the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Our weekly activity is as follows. Sundays. Every Sunday is our restoration service that starts by 7 a.m. with the Sunday school class. Please ensure you come quite early to attend the Sunday school for your spiritual growth. Fridays, newcomers and bad class hosts every Fridays by 4 p.m. 
If you have not yet been baptized by a mansion, please endeavor to attend as be guided on the belief and practices of opium. Tuesdays, every Tuesdays is a prophetic and deliverance service that starts by 12 noon. Brethren, you are advised to be part of Tuesday service because it is usually a power pack service, truly prophetic, and there is enough time to pray and be delivered from all manner of infirmities. Thursdays, every Thursdays, we hold our one hour scripture prayers service in OPNJ Branch 2. Time is 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. We also hold a billionaire service on every Thursdays by 6 p.m. Venue is OPM GRA Branch 1. Our monthly activities as follows. Last Saturdays, every last Saturday of the month is workers' meeting. The workers' meeting is mandatory for all OPM church workers. Time is 12 noon. We also hold our free antenatal care for our pregnant sisters on every first Saturdays of the month. Time is 10 a.m. First Fridays. Every first Friday of the month is Dr. Jesus Night with Coconut, which is not limited to the healing of the body, but covers healing of finances, business failures, marriages, and other deliverances. Therefore, it is for all of us. Dr. Jesus Night with Coconut is an all-night program. Time is 8 p.m. to dawn. Also, you are to come with coconuts for Holy Communion service. First Sundays. Every first Sunday of the month is our special Sunday service. The time is 7 a.m. We also hold our children's dedication on the first Sunday of every month. Today is our first Sunday of the month, and we are holding our children's dedication today. Let's clap on for Jesus. The children's dedication is for OPM members only. And an OPM member is the one who genuinely belongs to a house fellowship, a men or women fellowship, depending on the agenda. All those dedicating their children today are reminded that seats are reserved for them and the below of the minister's gallery. And after five testimonies, the children dedication will be conducted. House fellowship. Every Saturday is house fellowship meeting that holds at various house caring centers from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Please be reminded that true membership of OPS stars with the house caring fellowship. House Fellowship and Sunday School Review Meeting holds every Thursdays by 4 p.m. and every Saturdays by 10 a.m. respectively. Marriage Committee holds every Wednesdays by 3 p.m. So all intending couples are encouraged to attend. Welfare Committee meets on Wednesdays by 1 p.m. So if you are in need of clothing or other welfare issues, the welfare office opens every Wednesdays by 1 p.m. In the event you come to the church on a non-service day with your tithes, your offering, first fruit, seed vows, or pledges, please do not drop them into the offering box around the church. Rather, locate the safe at the altar and put them inside the safe. Text the same information to daddy for prayers. Those on their mercy prayers can also drop their offerings after their mercy prayers into the safe. Also, if you desire to pay your tithes, your seed, vows, or pledge by check, kindly state your phone number at the back of the checks so that if there are any corrections to be made, you can be reached easily. For your conveniences, please note that we have laboratory for both men and women at the excellent left and right of the church. Please note that eating or making calls while in the church, while in the church or the children during service is prohibited. Please always ensure to put off your car engines, eat headlamps, and traffic light before leaving your car to enter the church auditorium. As one of the measures 
to handle security challenges over car thefts. OPM internal security have been officially mandated to demand proof of ownership from anyone that wants to drive in or drive out any vehicle within OPM premises. Please, car owners should cooperate with them. Do not feel embarrassed if you approach and identify yourself. It is to safeguard your car against theft. Indiscriminate urination while it's open all day on Sundays. In case you wish to be a church worker, you are advised to join the Omega Army every Tuesdays by 10 a.m. Please be, be, be informed that before any business or payment arrangement within the church could be made, make sure you communicate or you meet the church authority. Please, if you want to do business in the church, want to make any payment, maybe your business payment, you meet somebody in the church, and the person says you pay money, please don't pay money. Always approach the church authority. Please. More announcements. The OPM Pastors Wise meeting slated for 13th April 2024 has been shifted to 1st of June 2024. Please, all OPM Pastors Wives advise to get their wrappers for the meeting. Let us always remember to pray in our closet for our daddy and mommy in the Lord as they have at all times been interceding on our behalf. As we remain in good standing with the Lord, God will be able to move you from nothing to something because of Jesus Christ. I say, as you remain in good standing with the Lord, God of OPM will take you from nothing to something because of Jesus Christ. Let's clap on for Dr. Jesus. Please, choir, can you proceed? Choir, please. Jesus, the owner of my life, With you, all things are made possible. Oh, Jesus, on your name, Lord. If you do nothing else for me, you are going to know for. If you do nothing else for me, you are going to know for. Oh, 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 my ma, oh, my ma, oh, my ma, oh, my ma, you are gone in all four. Oh, my ma, 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 you are gone in all four. Oh, my ma, oh, my Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus a glove of rain. Please, can we be on our feet? Please, can we stand up? There is somebody here today. Your testimony must appear now. I say, your testimony must appear now. See my hanging testimony by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I drag you down. See my hanging testimonies by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I drag you down. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yeah. 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 Drag it down. Oh, yes. Yeah. Drag it down. Yes. Because of Jesus Christ, we prayed. Father, we cover these testimonies with the blood of Jesus. For as many that will listen to these testimonies today, for I give them their own testimonies because of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus a glove of rain. Please be seated. When someone comes to share a testimony, you can drop an offering on the offering boxes to appreciate God for what God has done in love with that person and also to tap into that blessing. Number one. Uh -huh. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Briggs Ford Boma. I'm here with my lovely wife, Oloma Gift Briggs. And my lovely family, my brothers, sisters, my mother, we are, we are full, yeah. <laughs> Give Jesus a glove of rain. Eh? Okay. <laughs> my testimony is great because mm. it has started from the very first day I entered OPM. The very first day he came to OPM, his start, testimony started. Uh -huh. Well, to cut the long, very, to cut the long story short, <laughs> I know that when I entered, there was nothing, and immediately I entered, things changed positively, <laughs> and I have moved from one stage to another. Today, I have moved to the level where I can give every day to anyone who has need. But before, when I before I came into OPM, I was oh. living in an uncompleted building. Before I came to OPM, I was living in an uncompleted building with rats, mosquitoes, and cockroaches. Anyway, uh -huh. I, could I could recall one or two of the major testimonies. There was a period I lost my first 1.3 million era, and I ran down to church. And that day was, I think, billionaire service in the, the uh, Elios brand. And that day, Daddy told me to kneel down. He said he lost the money, and the wife was that my money was supposed to be 1.5. So, but I've already withdrew 1.3 million and I kept it in the car. I went into First Bank to withdraw the remaining 200 so that I can balance it to go and give to the landlord who I'm supposed to pay part of the money for a land. My first land I was to buy. So, before I came into that car, they've already broken into my car and collected that 1.3 million. And what was left with me was the 200,000. What did I do? What I do was to carry it all down and to return back to church, to give to church. Because I believe that for the sake that I'm a tithe and I pay my tithe, why will I lose money that I've already paid tithe? When I brought it to church, with the way daddy performs that period, if you steal, that if your money gets missing or anything happens, your car got missing, daddy will say, whosoever that stole that car, I am giving you seven days. Before you know that car comes, the money comes. So I was wishing daddy would pray that the money, the person who stole, I really need the money. That the person who stole that money will bring back the money. When I came and told daddy that I'm giving back the money that remains among the money that they stole, that is a kneel down. When daddy told me to kneel down on the altar, he actually raised his hand. But with what he had from God, he now told me, stand up. God said, you should not bother, don't arrest anybody, don't do it, just go, that he's going to surprise you. It will look good. Hey, we're getting it. I want to say, who's ever that stole it? Give him seven days. I said, I'm going to pray. God said, tell him to go. I'm going to surprise you. Today, God shall surprise you. 
Uh -huh. Three months after, I had struggled to Three save. months after. I had struggled to save one point something million. I started having like five, six, ten million in my account. <laughs> That is how my journey started in OPM, and it now leads to me buying land, buying cars, and all that. I am doing very, very much okay now. <laughs> so, secondly, I also have my lovely children in this same church. It got the children in this church. That is a, that is a miracle in my giving birth in this church. Now, let me explain. It's just a simple one, but it's so miraculous that. My wife gave birth two times in a year. That is the testimony. Now, how? My wife, my wife conceived, took in, and then she, the period she was to give birth, I think in the process in the hospital, the baby died. I was very angry with the hospital. It was that the geo that called me and said, leave it, come to the church, let me pray for you. When we went to the church, that the geo told us to lie down on the altar. Lie down on the altar! Eh? Uh -huh. That the geo told us to lie down on the altar, and that the other will take in all, all the negativity in our body system, and that he's going to let us know what will happen. Within the period we are lying down, that the Joe, when he told us to lie down, he was still praying, preaching, he was preaching. <laughs> while, we, while, we, while we are lying down, we are waiting. After some few minutes, he told us to stand up, and I prayed, and I told us that in this same year, that was February, was it February 12th? Fe February. My wife the baby huh? died, February. February. February 12th was that's why the baby died. The baby died in a womb. February. Uh -huh. And he now said, this same year, if I be a man of God, you are still going, you are going to give birth to another baby again this same year. And I said, in my mind, I said, ah, this when the baby died, you know, the doctors they opened the wife to bring her Flush out, yes. Uh -huh. Meaning that we can't even play. So when will I play? And, and it's February. Look at it now. It's February. February, March, blah, 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 blah. So, How many months? So we just have Between like, February to December, how many months? So we just have like 10 months. That 10 months, in between that 10 months, I can't meet my wife within the first two months for her to heal. But that the Jew is like his spirit. God told him, he said, manage it and do it anyhow. And let the word of God manifest. So I told my wife, well, within the week or within the, but my body was also shaking. <laughs> so, so we tried. And the next month, March, she has taken in November. This boy is here. He confirmed the word of his servant. He confirmed the word of his servant. At the February, when he was crying in the hospital, my wife, baby, the doctor said he has died. I said, leave the hospital now. And come to the church. That was in the news. Old order. Yes. When they came, I said two of them. Oh yeah, two of them are lying down for the altar. Continue to do whatever they do. I don't just I don't even mind them. Maybe they saw themselves out with God. Depending on God. Depending on God. Depending on God. After years of times, I said, oh, yeah, stand up. We're in February. This same year, your wife is going to deliver a child. Same year. We're in February, this same year. Well, I'm saying that, I'm saying, just anyhow. No be, no be, uh, um, spam waifu for container. Uh, remember, Joseph never met Mary. Mary Guinea, the email, or Cheneke and Yenwa, or Yonah Puma. Not, not, uh, uh, here. They give picking. Oh, Chinaka, the young one. Uh, my old man didn't know they work. Listen, whether they work in their work, may just carry them anyhow. Just carry them anyhow. Oh, Chinaka, they made the planting. He's the greatest planter in the plantation of planting. Oh, you boy. Get a bit of a car. And now look at this handsome boy. See, si. Emmanuel. Hey, fine boy. <laughs> Emmanuel, God is here. Uh huh. So we'll give 
God all the glory. We thank God. Our God has been faithful to us, stage by stage. Then after that, we got another baby. My, my second. Look at this. Another. See, five fine children. Her name is what? Please. Please means bless. Please, how are you? Fine. How blessing are bliss? Mm. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Get after, you know, I, I, we as men, or I would say as a Calabari man, I'm from <laughs> the Calabari side, the river state. I actually needed more. So, but it wasn't coming, so I just told my wife, let's forget about it first and let's continue. But time to time, it comes into my mind. Ha, just two. Ha, it's not very good though. And my mo mother used to. Oliver Twist, <laughs> Oliver Twist, Nigeria Limited. Uh -huh. My mother used to tell me, try, 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 continue, try. So one of the days, I woke up and I said, I have to challenge myself and ask God and tell God what I actually want. And I told God, I told, I told God and my wife. I told my wife, I told my wife, I said, see, mine, mine, cool down. Just pray. If you give me another baby, I'm going to give you 200,000. But if it, is, if it is a boy, I'm going to increase it like four or five times. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still here now. <laughs> and I said to my God, and I told her, I said, if God gives us another baby, be boy or girl, but I actually want a boy. But if God gives us a boy, I'm going to give God 500,000. So within the period, not quite long, unknown to her, she said, it's like it has happened. It has happened again. <laughs> By the special grace of God, it happened, and we now have a newborn, and his name is a man, uh, David. David! David. That killed Goliath. <laughs> David! Emmanuel and Blizz. Blizz. <laughs> eh? I'm here to fulfill what I said with my mouth. Within me and my God, I said I'm going to give that 500 naira. You know, cash. I'm supposed to bring in cash, but because of the difficulty in bank and all that kind of stuff, so I wrote a check, and the 500 naira is here. Give Jesus a clap of him. Whether it's check or cash. Ofunne, Ofunne, Nigerian. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thirdly, as I normally do, I like buying properties because I put <laughs> my money in properties. So I'm here to dedicate two different properties to the glory of God that has always blessed this family. Give Jesus a clap. Need down. Father, <laughs> Father Lord, we return all the glory back to you. We thank you for blessing this family. May you continue to bless this family. No worry, stand. Don't worry. Continue to bless this family more and more. More testimony, more miracle, more signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus. Good. It's done. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Oh yeah, snap quick, quick. Shabale, shabale. Uh -huh. Give Jesus a wonderful clap offering. Today, that thing you are expecting from God, God shall give it to you. That your expectation, God shall give it to you. Uh -huh. Please. 
OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. OPM TV partners. Reaching the world for Dr. Jesus. Reaching the world for Dr. Jesus. OPM partners. My name is uh, Mr. Uchen Nasistu Sakawa. I'm from Umo Monica, isn't it? MBC in Imo State of Nigeria. I lived in Wari, Delta State. My testimony goes like this. 2018, I located OPM through my cousin brother here, Emmanuel, who invited me after a series of challenges, disappointment, ups and downs. And I came. When I came, I saw the hand of God in this place. I'm not a fan of churches. I'm not a member of OPM. But when I came, I saw the power of God in this place. I saw the power, power of God, not grammar. Eh? As time goes on, God begins to restore me after a series of assignments and prayers. Mm. And one thing I love in this OPM is that you pray your way out. Mm. God in their hand on you. Mm. Man of God will just direct you, raise the prayer point, and you will pray. God will begin to do wonders. In fact, since 2018 to date, this is my second time of coming to this altar. I came here to dedicate my car. I came, I came here, here and dedicated my car. Uh -huh. I came here to thank God how God restored me back mm. from where I fall from. And now I've come again. In fact, after, since the, after that time, I take decision that I will no longer pay my tithe in my church because I'm not a member of OPM, but I'm a lover of OPM. I'm a partner in OPM. And I always pay my tithe in OPM. And since then, God has been blessing me. The last year, I embarked on a big project that I never planned it. In fact, I went there for lease. Then the owner told me he cannot lease it. I wants to sell it. I told him I don't have the money. So we went into an agreement that I'll be paying instrumentally. Then I started the payment. And by the grace of God, this past month, I completed it. And I said, if God of OPM helped me to achieve this great achievement, I will come here to testify and also give the seed which I promised him that I will give. That is why I am here today to dedicate the land. And that land, I never expected. In fact, in my entire life, I've not gotten such massive land. Two, one and a half acres of land. Give Jesus a wonderful <laughs> And abandoned structure. In fact, it's a factory on the land. I bought it. I bought the generator. I bought everything in that land. I said, mm. I must come to testify to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. And also, I also promise God that this second quarter, before the end of this second quarter, if God helped me to complete that factory and see it running, I will also come here again to dedicate the factory and also appreciate God again. Here is the land, mm. also the seed I've come to testify. Give Jesus a clap offering. It's not just a land. There is a factory inside. There's a generator inside. Now God will give money to expand it. it that factory will give back to more factories. Need down. Mm. When you dedicate... Neither. Father, I dedicate this factory. This factory shall give back to more factory. God shall bless you, expand you. God shall continue to increase you. Since you came to Opium, God is increasing, increasing you more because Jesus now will pray. And this sacrifice you are giving to God, the Lord shall bless you more and more because Jesus now will pray.
Go, it's done. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Open those. Clap for Dr. Jesus. How many now? OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. OPM TV partner. Reaching the world for Dr. Jesus. Reaching the world for Dr. Jesus. OPM TV partners. I'm so grateful to God Almighty for making it possible for me to come here again this year to testify after the testimony I did last year concerning my school. Daddy, I was here last My name is Doris Marikini Yeche. Mm -hmm. Daddy, I was here last year concerning the school I opened in 2016 before I located OPM. The school was not doing well. So I started praying about the school there in my former church. So I decided to close down the school because the children will come, parents will learn, but when it gets to the time of payment, parents will not pay. If I drive the children for school fees drive, they will go home and change the children with my money to another school without paying uh -uh. the school fees. Yes. So the school was not doing well. Mm -hmm. I now located OPM in 2018, came here, started paying my tithe. That is today the school has grown. We are now having from nursery to sec uh, primary, now we have secondary. And we now did a, we did a task force last month. Wait, so wait. Really now, 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 listen now. Open your two ears. Open your two ears. She's in the church. She's paying her tight there. But it is not growing. It's the, the school. When she drives them away for not paying school fees, they will go to another school and start paying school fees there. And she goes to the church and pays tight. But she came to OPM where we use the tight to operate free school. Use the tight to operate free hospital. Use the tight to send people on scholarship. God now expanded her. Oh, today God shall expand you. God now expanded her. From nursery school where she they operate, she opened primary school. Open secondary school. Because God is happy with OPM. Uh -huh. That is not only that. The parents that used to owe me before, before school resumption, they will start paying school fees. This is oh. what I've never experienced before. Give Jesus a wonderful clap of him. So that in that last year, I came, dedicate, re, you rededicated the school, and I also dedicated a car. So... Today, I came to dedicate a land that God gave me. This land is a miraculous land. Why am I saying that? I entered into the hands of 419ers last year or two years ago. How do you So, I wanted to buy a property, and this person is a family member. Because I didn't want to enter into a wrong hand, I was so scared to buy the property until a family member came, which we trusted. We didn't know that he had a court case with that land. So he needed that money to solve a family problem. So after paying for the, for the property, I sent some boys to go and clear the place. It's a long story, but I'll make it short. So the, uh, another landlord came that they shouldn't clear the place. I was scared. They called me. I called the landlord. I was scared when I heard that, that another landlord came to the land. How? This land, we investigated. We even went to the, the, to the family to investigate if the land is a clean land, if the land has no dispute at all. We didn't know that there were so many things they were hiding. So, finally, we, we were chased out of the land. I came here with the paper and the receipts of the money I paid, and so they see. I kept praying. I even involved some policemen here, um, DSP Samson. I also involved the TV partner chairman and uh, Auntie Virginia. They helped me. We contacted police to arrest the man because he said he didn't have money to refund me and there's no other land to give me. So my money would just go like that. I had to involve the police. For one year, this man 
he was nowhere to be found. He left his family. I cannot arrest the wife and children. So what I did was to always pray. I came with the documents and money. I always pray and sow my seed. So daddy, last year, December, November, I was just on my, after I've removed my mind from the land, he called me. That where am I? Uh -huh. I said, this man, I said, he left his house for one year. I said, where will this man run? Because of money, he ran, left his family, left his children. In, in fact, this God is so wonderful because I was like, God, anywhere he is, if he doesn't have the money to pay me, give him a contract that he will get money to pay me back this money. Give him something, bless him. I was even praying for him every day. I said, God, bless him so that he will have the money to refund me. If he doesn't have a land to give me, let him refund me my money. So November last year, he called me that I should send my account number. I checked, that, I checked the number. Is he him? I said, Daddy, I, I used to call him Daddy. So where are you? He said, I should do what? I should send my account number. I thought he was joking, Daddy. He sent the money in full. He I sent said, the money in full. Anywhere your money is hanging today, that money shall be released to you. Uh -huh. To my greatest surprise, he didn't reduce even one naira. He sent the money in full. And I said, God of hope. I mean, because... I know some family members that still have this same issue I had and they are in court till tomorrow. They've not recovered their money, they've not recovered any land. And the case has been in court for years. But my own, because of Dr. Jesus, he said there shall be no loss. I kept reminding him, he said, that money is my sweat. I said, that money cannot go like that. Dr. Jesus, there shall be no loss in OPM. So long as I pay my tithe, I pay my TV partner dues, there shall, be, there shall be no loss. So that they are recovered the money and getting another property was another trouble because I was scared. I said, let me not go and enter another one chance again. I took my time to look for another property, which I added money because that, I bought that land in 2019. So now the land appreciated. So I had to add some money to get another place. And that this place I got is better than the former place. Give Jesus a clap of rain. God was so faithful. This place is already first. You build a parking with neighbors. Why the other one? I had to wait for one or two years. Well, here, yeah, the place is already. The other one. Obiri, Imoya. Yeah. Obiri, Ndemado. Nida. Clap for the Lord Jesus. Eh? that if God recovers my land that will come and thank him with this. So Neither. Father, as a daughter, I've come to thank you. Favor her. Increase a larger cost in Jesus' name. I dedicate this land in the name of the Father and Son of the Spirit. Money to build it shall come from the north, south, east and west because Jesus will pray. Take Money to build it because Jesus will pray. Clap for the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Dr. Jesus. God is here. Um, I'm going to the economic forum. I was the economic arm of Ndoki Union. We, are, we did our summit on Monday, 1st of April. So I better say, now that summit, the American Economy is great as the economical arm of Ndoki Union. That will see uh, the, you know, bringing in investors into Ndoki land. 
to see how we can enhance the economical value of Ndoki because Ndoki with a lot of resources that has not been harnessed at all. And we want to also use the opportunity to honor our daddy mama, Naiho Dineme Na Alandoki. He has set a pace that nobody in Ndoki has been able to reach at all. So, when God I my Murike Gaga to Mamaya, or when God I my Murike Gase, Chineke Mamma Nayon, and Minalando, that's why we had to come to our own to do this um, Thanksgiving and dedication of this uh, noble group. And there are a lot of challenges before us. You know, all Yemen, I did Biana, this author, Manasin, I think that most of those challenges, based on the testimonies we have heard on this author, there is no challenge that we cannot be able to surmount. And the God of this altar, based on the message that was preached this morning, Nalolo with a very strong um, faith. belief and faith that na Shineke Duanyanazo, we have a God that helped David to defeat Goliath. And no matter how big the challenge is, we'll defeat any Goliath that will be on our way by the special grace of God. And daddy is behind us. And daddy, Emre daddy in Doc as one of our BOTs, but all day around. Come walk, I get cool later. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a say, I have a chineke, mama, and this is what I thought. Mama, sir. Lay down. Father, Lord, we thank you. Today, we dedicate this group in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. This is Doc Economic Summit. Forum shall attract so much investment within Ndoki and even outside Ndoki because of Jesus Christ. Both Ndoki in Akwaibon, Ndoki in Abia, Ndoki in River State will be so blessed through this group in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit because Jesus will pray. So, God bless you. Thank you very much. Okay. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate. Yes. OPM. Doctor Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. OPM TV partner. Reaching the world for Dr. Jesus. I'm Bolaji James Ademola from your state. Uh, I've been hearing of, you know, I've been listening to programs on TV, but I never watch OPM for once. Because I hate one thing. I hate people who normally say, can I prophesy? Can I do this? You know, but that day I located OPM over TV. Yeah, we're not there for can I professor? Your name is John. You come from Umbano. Your phone number is 080. Eh, 080. This is 080. You eat pepper soup this morning. Yesterday you eat loy loy. Your bank account number is not nine not four one nine. Eh, we lay away. Uh -huh. So today I located OPM. I discovered a piece around my own wife. Mm. Because my wife, he wants her to sleep. Just tell her to wash the vision. But that day she didn't sleep. We were washing. I said, ah, we can be washing this thing though. And lo and behold, we were washing. We were washing. So somehow I was attacked with, uh, uh, I couldn't, you know, pass, I couldn't excrete. I couldn't, you know, uh, defecate. So. Okay, I, you couldn't download. I couldn't download. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I was praying. It didn't go. My wife said, "Okay, go and apply a uh, rod into my anus." It didn't go. I apply um, oil, oil of my car. Wait, you apply rub? Rub. It didn't go. Oh, rub the hot now. It didn't even hurt me because I didn't feel it. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I want to pass the street. I pass want to download. I want to download. I rub. I apply rub. Oh, imagine if you put it off for another body, it's hot. The rebellion is on a website. Hey, your Instagram will just verify. <laughs> so I was praying. I prayed. I 
I prayed and prayed. Nothing happens. I just entered the toilet. Something told me, be, begin to say, the doctor, I mean, the, 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 the doctor Jesus of OPM, come and heal me. I was saying that, I was shouting it. I was saying it, I was shouting it. And no, I, before that time, if I touch the, my anus, I will feel the excrete very thick, like very strong. Like a like, rock. Like a rock. So immediately I was saying it, I was shouting it. Something that was there for two days. That's it between here and here. It didn't go anywhere. <laughs> it just came down. Wait. The website was from here okay. to here. Oh. <laughs> I kind of say, website they reach for here for leg. What the ability? It must be a wonderful website. <laughs> it must be Facebook and Instagram put together for it to reach leg. I never see where downloading the reach leg. Uh -huh. So immediately it left. But I and my wife were arguing on something or we were discussing on something. Everyone that you know gave testimony on the altar will talk about coconut. Coconut night with Jesus. So we're saying, what is all this? That night, daddy just appeared and he cut the coconut into pieces. He was giving it to people. So I stretched my hand, he gave it to me. I said, Where is the water? I said, When you buy your own. Then I woke up. I said, I have to go to Portacot. From Irua, when I get from Irua, I get to Barako, I get to Portacot. So I, where, I said, where, where, where are you staying? I'm staying at Irua, a small local government in Ibadan. Okay, Ibadan. Okay. Ibadan. Okay. So, okay, that's why you watch OPM program in Ibadan. Exactly. So I came. When I got here, I was just praying over there because I'm very new. I saw people coming here to pray. I didn't join them. I was just praying. I saw Pastor Amadi passing because I've not really seen him on the program. I rushed to him. Somebody said me, hold him down. I said, sir, pray for me. He said, eh. What do you, I, I told him, he said, he just hit me on my head and he prayed for me. So I saw people praying here, I joined them as well. The arthritis that have been disturbing me for years, I can say like six years, if I'm not mistaken, for six years. In fact, it has turned me to letter J, at that time letter K, at that time letter seven. That anyone that says, ah, but you, what is happening? You were walking like this now. I said, what? So, arthritis. Arthritis. My leg, my hand. Well, it, it turned your leg to letter K. Myself, not myself, that I walk like this. I walk like this. I walk like this. So uh -huh. you see me for the first time, and you know me very well. Say, but like, what's wrong with you? You are walking bent. I said, uh, it's just a small thing. The Lord, the Lord with you. But lo and behold, I was healed. I was Give healed. Jesus a clap of him. Yesterday, I, w I, w I went to the market over there because I just discovered I have cancer. Instead of praying and it will go, I went to those places. I said, I want to buy a. Uh, uh, I forgot what they call it, to sniff into my nose. So they, they I forgot. So I was asking the woman, the woman said, ah, you can see, okay, they call it fix. You can see fix. Fix, okay. Fix. You can see it here. You better go and sit down and pray. The moment you are yes, ah, you cheer me up. I prayed and the cat left. And the cat left. The true problem left, the attractors left, and my inner in my village it opened and I can escape. Then every other thing that I'm trusting God for, I know the the the, the do, the, the, do, uh, Give the, Jesus the, a wonderful clap of him. Open it. Kneel down. Your healing is permanent. An affliction will never arise at a second time in your life. Because Jesus knows. Open it. Branch, don't go for yours. Uh, let's just take one or two, then we'll cut off. Branch, wait. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Yen in action. God is here. God is here. Uh, OPM Osha. Osha for, for the... Dr. Jesus. Osha for Dr. Jesus. OPM Osha. Who are you Osha for? Osha for the God of the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Enek Anlaino Sukokwa. I'm coming from a glorified state. Actually, since I gave my life to Christ, since I joined OPM, God has done so many things upon my life. This very one, this is my son. About three weeks ago, I, I was so surprised. It was about uh, almost uh, last year ago. When he will let me from glorified to Bible, and I say, 
They one day, one day. Actually, I will all pray for him. One day, one day, I now hear my father call me home, say he's here. I say, ah, why, where, all this why, where he been, where he been there? So I was surprised. So nearly, as he said that I almost uh, some month. There's a one day, uh, somebody, one day, my, my, mother, my father called me. He said he disappeared for the house. He carried money and run away. Ah, uh, after they cut, uh, cut, they cut off, they called me at the uh, uh, OPN portal. They said that uh, my boy have come to the house. Ah, uh, so actually, we got the solution, the solution. I want to appreciate God because God has done so many things. I've tried all means for this boy to understand me. You don't want to understand me. Sometimes when you go and steal person's phone or you go and steal anything, somebody, somebody that I can be able to fit, he now slap me because of this boy. But I want to appreciate God for using this our, you know, fascia to make a way for me where there is no way. Who am I? Who am I? But God has delivered me and make him to be what he wants to be. I want to say, Papa, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. My second testimony. My second testimony about... Uh, God, God, I enjoyed this uh, OPM. God has embarrassed me with the uh, land also uh, 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 landlord. That's why the last one was that because where I live, where, where I'm building, where I was building the house was not uh, nearly to my working place. I said, God, if you know where I'm still living, I will not be able to leave that place to go and stay as a, another, another, another tenant. I want for you to give me my own house. So God has embarrassed me with the house property, which I'm going to live there. It's very soon I'm going to live there to my house. God, God has done for me because. He was terrible. He was terrible. I said, God, why can I be a tenant? Why can I be a tenant when I serve the OPM? When I pay my tithe? But God embarrassed me. I want to say, Papa, thank you for what God has done for me. Say, may his name alone be sorted in the name of you. No matter what you say, the, the tenant, one of the tenants give me some time. You don't want to come out. You don't want to come out. And secondly, the, the other land, it was too broad. The person wanted to show one brother. I take them to, to God. He has seen the case. He said, may God help me so that I can be able to be in the case. I said, for what God has done for you, may his name alone be sorted in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus a clap of him. Lay down. You know, the son renounced a few weeks ago. After I renounced him, I told him to come and stay in my house. Without even knowing that the father is an OPM member. But today, there's a lot of there changes in his life. They carry his property name on the father, son of the spirit. So, perfect the good work I started. Only to complete it. Because Jesus loves prayer. Your deliverance is permanent. Go. It's done. Clap for Dr. Jesus. So branches. We'll just take one this one now. Then we'll, uh. Okay, after this one, dedication. Uh. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. God is here. Dr. Jesus in action. My name is Agbo Catherine from Penn West State, Kasinala Local Government. I located OPM through TV partners. OPM and TV partners, God bless you. TV partners. I don't know how I will thank TV partners because it's TV partners that make my life now. Thank God, Jesus. I thank them. I was having diabetes, seriously one, over five years. It's December. That whole night that they do December first, first Friday of December. I came here. I located OPM. So I, I love the sound. All things within my body, just the waka things, just the waka inside my body, just the waka. I begin to cry here. Cry, cry, cry. I come with my daughter. So I can't call my daughter. I sit on that side. I call my, my daughter. Come and see what is the waka inside my body. I said, I love this sound. I don't know what is waka inside my mm. body like this. So my daughter come, come on my zip, open my back, you don't see anything. He said, no, let him love me this thing. So he started to pack in the sand and loving me, loving me, loving me. Even as men day here, I didn't care. I love that thing. So I went there. 
I go sleep. Sleep where I know the sea. Sleep where at the dead medicine. I won't sleep. I know the sea. I sleep that day. They are sitting my bed. Give Jesus a clap of him. So okay, before that time, you know if you sleep, you want to sleep. But as you turn it down, he said, he said, what happened? Sleep. He is the worker inside my body. Uh-huh. inside my body. Then sleep. Like an like, ant, like, like waiting, waiting. So sleep don't came. As I finish here, I went there, my, my daughter, carried like that, put for grand there. So I sleep, sit three, one, two, I don't know. They can't wake me. Give Jesus a cup of it. That thing that, I've, that good thing that has appeared in your life, shall reappear back. Me that I should come and play again. I come, I come play, pack the sand and love again. Love more than that time. So I know see that thing where they work out for my body, I know see them again. So I finished the program. I went. So that, that time that I was coming here, I tested the sugar is uh, 380, 88. And uh, that is the test that I do. So as I come here, I go back. After one week, I went for for hospital. I go do the test. The test was uh, 122. So no more sugar is. Eight, Wait, from what? From 388 to 122. Give Jesus a wonderful clap of him. Uh huh. The sugar and until now, I never, I'm not taking any medicine. All sugar from my body is gone. Give Jesus a clap of him. So, second one is like this as I come here, I buy bango, I buy bango more than 20 because I get plenty of people for my, my place. So, I buy bango as I go give my husband the bango. One day, I went for farm. As I went for farm to give people food for, from farm. So my husband come for me. Mommy come back home. I said, and what happened? Where? As I reach farm, he come for me, said that she come back. What happened? He said, but I come back. They call us that the one or our son. I have only one son, three kids. So in the school from Penel Republic. So they tell us, they call him. The school management called him and tell him that uh, the boys uh, went off. They don't know why. They carry the boy go to the hospital. They call him, ask him whether uh, you the Emmanuel, uh, ask him the father. He say yes. He say no. What to do for your son be this? So my husband come out the bango and put for the my son head like this. Put inside the car, wardrobe and come out. He kneel down, he play, he say, uh, far is not a barrier. As he play, he's as open and pray here. Uh, Apostle Chibuza, they pray here, something they do for London. And so he became, uh, he, 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 as he put the bango, he will play and he know, make it go extend one hour, make the song for him. As I'm telling you, the thing no extend one hour. My, my phone, my phone. Give Jesus a wonderful clap of him. My phone no die. I have to open the, the time when he call my husband. So he let out the, the thing and my phone died. Need down. Yeah. Father, for the deliverance. See the blood, blood of Jesus. Restoration in Jesus' name. Go. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Huh? You never finish. Well, yeah, summarize is now. I, have, uh, I say, if the sickness finish, I need uh, this church from Kasnala. So okay, I, you need somebody uh, 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 for Kasnala because it's as I come here, go back. I can't know that the opium day Zakipian, opium day Gogo, opium day Makodi. So from Kasnala, opium no day. So I'm going to bring my paper. When I leave here, maybe by next week, I will come here, come back here, and give the paper for the blood that I've donated for up here to go and open church for us. 
Give Jesus a clap of friend. He said what? Okay, you deleted land. Yes. Give Jesus a clap of friend. I will come back next week, Sunday. I will come on Saturday so that I will enter church. Give the papers. Okay. Need them. For all of the thank you. This sacrifice I made shall open great door for you. God, Jesus, don't pray. Go, it's done. Okay, a marriage blessing, quickly. Marriage blessing. Okay, face each other. Is there anybody that have any reason why this should be? These people should not be joined. Should speak now forever. Hold your peace. Oh, oh, bring out your ring. With this ring, I wed you. No, the man will talk, not the woman. With this ring, I wed you. With my body, I worship. With all my worldly possession, I share with you this day. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, God, Jesus, the whole prayer. Clap for Dr. Jesus. With this ring, I wed you. With my body, I worship. With all my worldly possession, I share with you this day. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. By the power invested on me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I could have said kiss the bride, but I don't the kissing, so continue where you stop. Oh yeah. Go and carry your children. Children dedication. Children sis. Dedication sis. Nigerian sis. Limited sis. Okay, let me ask your husband. Let's try for her. Begin to bless these children. Begin to bless these children. Ask God to bless these children. Because Jesus don't pray. Now, what's the name of your baby? What's the name of your baby? Okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, lay hand on the head of the child. Lay hand on the head of the child. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bless this child, this baby in the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. These children are for signs and wonders. These children will be very great. They will not die premature. Sickness that come to children will not locate them. What their parents could achieve, you achieve a hundredfold. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus will pray. So, I've dedicated your children. God bless you. Uh, you can go. Open your water and the oil. Open your water and the oil. Now, speak. Blood of Jesus, seven times, tell what I want to go. <laughs> Wonderful and great God. It's just an honor water and oil. But once the power comes in, it becomes a supernatural honey water and oil. Lord, let your power that breaks every year, let your power enter this water and oil. Let your healing power enter the and oil. Let your restoration power enter the and oil. Because Jesus' name we pray. For those who are sick, 
What they want to receive instant healing. Because Jesus' name. Anyone with any kind of affliction. Once they drink water, oil, shall receive instant healing. Any woman looking for the woman they drink water, oil, shall conceive. Anyone believing God for breakthrough. Once they are not with this water and oil, they shall receive that breakthrough in the name of Jesus. To that, because the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, because Jesus will pray. Next testimony. Okay. Before we take the next testimony, branches can cut off. Let's continue our own testimony. Branches can cut off. Next testimony. Hope you are. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. This is the place where all kinds of problems are solved permanently without paying money. Mm. Uh, Your name? My, okay. My name is Barry Aro Abale. I'm from uh, Ahoda West. Okay. I'm from Ahoda West. Precisely on Gota. So, for about three months now, I've been coming here with two feet. My name is Opian Toothpick. Yes. Know me here as Opian Toothpick because I have love for those who are benefiting from uh, open free restaurants. That's why I decided to provide toothpick for them. Okay, you produce toothpick? No, I provide for, I buy and submit. Well, you, you buy toothpick and submit? And submit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought you are the producer. No, I'm not producing. You should learn how to produce it now. Okay, that's good. Now eh? I'm praying God. Uh -huh. So just last, uh, on the 14th of last month, March, I decided to donate two plots of lands to the Great Commission. Give Jesus a clap of him. Uh -huh. I'm happy. So I'm very, very happy because of the good things I've been expressing here. Mm. Uh, written today. Somebody promised, said uh, I will not read today. So now, that was on 20, 20th December. January had passed. February had passed. Today I'm still alive. I have to give out the, the, the two plots of lands with happiness. At where? I'm written today. At my community. Where? On God, I would have West. I would have West. Clear about Brother Jesus. Jesus. The decision Nina. of the place. Nina. You have testimony. Okay. My community, that shell has property in my community. Ubi were six. Or got that shell. Ajib manifold. Or got that. So that's why I'm coming. We have access road to Ahoda Bayasa Ubiama Road. So that's, that's where the land is, eh? Clava Brother Jesus. Nida. Father, we thank you for what you've done in this life. Give you glory, give you honor, because of Jesus Christ. This seed you have sown in the house of God will give you fruits because of Jesus Christ. Take more keys of restoration. Give Jesus a clap of prayer. Uh -huh. Open. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Sister Angosi Lilia Samson. So please, one minute. So. Since I believe, since I believe, he has never let me down. Since I believe, since I believe, he has never let me down. Done. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God on behalf of my friend who resides in UK and also me. Her own is about her paper. Sometime last year, around August, her paper, you know, due for her to send it out for the last one. So God helped her because she brought her son down to Nigeria, which is against the law. So we keep praying about it. Prophecy was coming from here. She will call me. I'm going to see, see, see. I said, don't mind them. They're just looking for what to get. He said, don't worry. I will go and meet Dr. Jesus. I know how to talk to him. He said, I trust you. So I come here. 
I go to the altar. I talk to God. I ask him to help us. And God helped us. She sent out the, the, uh, the paper. When she sent it out, so in UK, if your paper is not with you, you cannot work. She was working in three different companies. So they now stop her from coming for the two. Remaining one, those ones try, try. Go touch the agency to call the council. That's the immigration. When they call them, they told her, yes, her paper is with us. Don't bother. So you can return her. So she has been sustaining with that work. Reaching on 28th of March, they sent her an email since that last year, August. That her paper goes through, everything is okay, but they need £1,560 for her to receive her paper. That's a top up. And looking at how things is, the one work was not enough. She don't even have this money. She called me one evening. She was crying. That was uh, that Thursday. She was crying, crying, crying. I said, don't cry. He said, you are my backer. You are the only one that understands me. You are the only one that knows I'm feeling here. I would think I'm rejoicing. I said, don't worry. I will go to church and I will go to water. Dr. Jesus, I've started it. We'll finish it. She said, amen. She said she don't know how to raise the money. I said, don't worry. Money will come. She said she believed me. So after Sunday service, I come to this altar. I kneel down. I cry to God. I say, God, you have done it before. Now, this paper will not be retrieved because if she don't pay that money within six days as they give her, she will start afresh. Hey. So I cried. I said, Dr. Jesus, I don't need to bother myself because I know you are at work. Do this thing so that I will come and testify. So she now called one sister there. The sister promised to give her 1,000 pounds. So she now go to bank. They give her 500 pounds. She now has 60 pounds and sent to them. They wrote an email, which all of them I had. This, they said that they would bring her within 10 days that she would receive her paper. So on the process, the paper didn't even reach 10 days. On that two days, they sent her an email that they, she should expect them tomorrow. Let me show you the, this thing. <laughs> two days, they brought, and she has passed out from that normal address. I told her to go there. Thank God they give her the hour between 10 to 1. I said, go there, hang around, so that when they come, and they wrote on it that they would not give it to any neighbor or dispatch it anyhow, except to, him, to her. So, to God be the glory. They come and they give her, this is the, the raising permit, and this is the Give Jesus a glove of rain! Club and Jesus. So, uh -huh. One thing remained, the Nigeria International Passport is sent with it. They have not returned it. And she told me that yesterday night that this is what they did four years back. And she have to renew it. You do it again. And that cost her a lot there. So I told her, don't worry, after the testimony that God will bring. It's done already. Nina. Oh, yeah, on. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Since 20, uh, 2015, enemy attacked me with Osa, and that Osa started in the dream. A woman I know from my village, I heard her voice. She called me, Oyibo, Oyibo, it's your turn to die. So immediately I turned to see the person. They strike me here. I didn't see the person. That one go. After two days, I went to my former church. I went for Thursday class. I cleaned the altar. After that, I went to tap to wash my hand. I feel a kind of punch, like bites here. I do like this. I enter church. After church, throughout that night, I couldn't sleep. I can't get up. I only crawl from my room to kitchen to bedroom. I can't do anything. That's how the problem started. So I went to hospital. They said, it's also, they give me drugs. I keep taking drugs. They start avoiding some kind of food. But the worst of it was 2020 during COVID-19. I forgot that I used to have also. I joined them to take onions, orange peels, all those things. So the thing activated the more. I developed BP. That BP, if I come to this church, if I'm passing here to drop tides, it looks as if my heart will be pulling out. Sometimes I will come in the morning healthy, before afternoon I'll be collapsing. I can't do anything. In fact, it's the worst disease, sickness on earth, ulcer and BP, very dangerous. So I keep on crying to God. I remember the same woman called me physical, 27, 207. Tell me it's my turn to die. I should come home and drink medicine. 
I laugh at her. I say, medicine now is not good. I say, since I'm a heart tree, let them cut me. But if I'm not a heart tree, nobody will cut me. So all these things started doing. So there was a day I came for Tuesday class because since this year, I call it a work to come here on a Tuesday. Because there's something, there's one thing to believe in God. There's one thing to be connected. I've been seeing testimonies of OSA, BP. You know, doctors say BP cannot go. They keep advising you, take your drugs, just give, give it drugs, you'll be fine. Uh, there's one testimony, I say, this is enough. It's like I'm not praying well. I'm not connected. I say, no, this is not me. They cannot bring me down because I know who I am. I, I don't fear. Nothing makes me fear. So I now come to this altar. Every Tuesday I will come here. I will cry to God. I will tell him, Daddy, it's like I have not prayed enough. Now I have come for you to hear me. Say, this is my time to give testimony on this altar and BP. If, am I talking about the West pain when he rises, my kneel? Some people are telling them I will testify. I'll be walking and hold myself as if I'm doing hey. that. Because I can't stand. So I keep on praying. There was a time I come here last year, early last year. I have a dream. That time I was living at Elelawa. Native daughter did a kind of nonsense to me. I was angry in that dream. I told him, I give you seven days, you will die. I, that day happened to be on a Tuesday. Immediately I wake up, I say, Tuesday, I'm coming here. So it was the last topic of prayer you raised that day. We have prayed, we have shared the grace, just those last prayers after offering and everything to go. It was the last. You say there is a sister here. When you are in the world, they want to kill you. Now you are in Christ Jesus, they want to kill you. But they will not kill you. Pray like this. And the same seven days I give that native daughter is what you give to that native daughter. I shout to him and I grab the prayer after I told one sister, that prayer is me. That's exactly what happened this morning. So I want to give God all the glory because the Osa and the PP is gone forever. Give Jesus a glory of him. The Osa and the BP, they are gone forever. Uh -huh. Before I cannot stay where there is Jane. Like when I packed into room here, I told my landlord, he begged me that he would offer it by 10. But since December, I took last BP drug. My omeprazine is there, the PP drugs are there. I've not taken drugs since December to date, both for Osa and I'm eating stew. I even make stew this morning. <laughs> stew is my best, as in to eat rice. Uh. I turn to eat vegetable, you know, it's good. But now I am frying egg, uh. fry plantain. Uh -huh. Eat anything I want to eat. <laughs> I don't feel any pain. Give Jesus a glob of bread. Uh -huh. The gen, the gen will run till two midnight before the chair fuel will finish, before I can't stay. It will do me, run out, run out. My heart will be beating, blah, 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 blah. my head, God. say run out, run out. I say for what? He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. What will I run out for? Who will I run to? Uh. I challenged that spirit when I was a teller. In fact, I passed through her. Within where I am, people that knows me, know me, they say, God, this is not you, something happened to you. But I want to thank God today that I can jump, Cross overnight, I dance all the whole dance, but I can't do it before. <laughs> I sing. Uh, Small time, I say, ah, is it me? I sing again. Uh, I need to know if it's me because I can't try it. I can sing like three minutes. I will collapse for one hour. Try. But I sing all through, dance all through. All this while, I've been doing the things I cannot do. I want to say thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. for not disappointing me, <laughs> for not letting my enemies to laugh at me, for restoring me. Be that glorified for if Jesus say glob of him, your enemies cannot laugh at you. Need them. Say blood of Jesus. Say blood of Jesus. Say blood of Jesus. Of your mother. Father, we thank you for this deliverance. We return all the glory, return all the honor because of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Take more keys of restoration. Glob and blood of Jesus. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God of OPM, Dr. Jesus is action. God is God, here. God is here. My name is Francis by Monday now. I want to thank this great God of OPM concerning my son. Last month, I was in the house. I get up for morning and bed. Started to come to headquarters here whereby we normally don't go to branch before. 
So this is my son was talking to me, he said, Daddy, I want to follow you. I want to follow you. I did not hear. So as I come to the headquarter here, this is my son, get up in the morning and bait and tell his mother, say, I'm waiting for him along the road. Not knowing that, say, me, I've already gone to headquarters here. This boy now trekked to my house because I'm living at the greater. He trekked from my house, from Momotoku, near here to Sobas, in the car road. And when his boy came back and he told his mother, say, Dad, Mommy, my leg is paining me. The mother asked him, where did you go? He said, I go to church to look for Daddy. And as he came to a branch there, he did not see me. He trekked down to house. But my greatest surprise, we say, I asked him, when he reached a greater roundabout, how do you cross road? He said, let me tell people to ask him to cross road. And I thank God for this great of God's opinion because upon the, the walkway there at the greater, the, the manhole, they have already removed the manhole. Everything is there. But this boy went to a branch and come back without anything. So I want to thank God for this great of OPM, for what he has done in the life of my son and my family. May his name be glorified. Jesus. Brother, Jesus. But when you left from the house, your wife, where was she? She was in the house. So why would she allow this small boy to move out? She, the, because what? One of your neighbors is in child education. So you went there for child education? Put in mic. Eh? I went there to assist him. And, and they, if she, if she has gone out from the house, how can you allow these little children to stay in the house alone? You cannot pay. You have to take care of your children very well. Eh? Somebody can come to the house and kidnap them and go away, and you will say, God, 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 God. As they're going to church, why not go along with them? It's very simple. And you allow them to stay in the house. Your wife has gone for child education on her own, leaving the small children. And you, you are going to church, leaving the small children. Go on, please. So, so when I came back, the boy, my mother, my, my son told me that he's going to branch. I said, no. I asked my mother. He said, the boy complains about leg. But my greatest surprise, we say, for the road, when the boy passed for the road, and how did he cross the road? And when he came back, and I want to tell God for this God of opium, that as he let him go, and he let him come back, and there's no issue. So I want to thank God for this God of opium. Okay, that's your testimony, eh? God saved your son for being careless. For being careless. You know, God is a merciful God, to be frank. Very merciful. Because they are little children. They don't know anything. Need them. Father, I will thank you for saving your son. For in no PM, there shall be no loss. In the name of Jesus, God will restore this family. Amen. Go and prosper. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go. Clap and pray to Jesus. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Our parable here is, there shall be no loss. I want to thank God. My name is Brother Nemeka Muju. I want to thank this great God for his great deliverance that he did in my life and my family. What God did on Wednesday, not everybody, that's not a mystery of God that will come out. I came back in the morning after prayer. I want to, let me put gas for my little boy to take tea. The gas, as I want to put the gas, the gas is not coming up. Air is coming up. That's okay. Let me reduce the air. I start reducing the air in the kitchen. The thing is not coming forth. After 10 or 15 minutes, I didn't even wait. I used matches. I on the light. The whole kitchen caught fire. Hey! <laughs> Now, well, I look up, look down. What I saw everywhere in the kitchen, I don't know how God do it. What I saw when I was raising my head up, the fire out from the kitchen, entered parlor. And the fire entered parlor, the curtain that demarcated my dining room, the <laughs> curtain caught fire. I was looking, the flame was moving like this. 
enter my forestry. I don't know how the cotton went. My wife started shouting neighbors. They came. The fire on the tear just quenched down. Mm. On that Monday, I have a dream. I didn't understand that dream. But what I had, what I saw in that dream, I escaped. They say he escaped. He escaped. On that Wednesday, as we finished our midnight prayer, I wanted to pray. They say I had it escape. They escaped. Pray. I prayed that thing on that Wednesday. That same Wednesday morning, God answered my prayer. Nothing touched me except this little. Okay, that was listen. Ah. Video is one. You see the fire? In OPM, there shall be no loss. You know. Say, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Open your Father, we thank you for saving your son. Thank you for protecting this family. In the name of Jesus. God will not put you to shame. Because you are doing the work of God. Nobody can bring you down because of Jesus Christ. Take more keys of resurrection. Clap and put Jesus. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, everyone. Afternoon. God well, bless you. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. Allah. Yeah. So this is my first time coming here, and I'm also a follower of OPM um, Apostle Chubuzo. Okay, this is your first time coming here today. Yes. Your name is what? My name is Onoha Favor Chioma. I'm coming from Owere, Imo State. Uh, so I have um, uh, uh, this thing, a uh, work, uh, uh, artwork to present to Apostle Chubuzo. You know, I'm a follower to him on Facebook. I do follow him on Facebook, see his good okay. works and okay, his good things. Yeah. So yeah. I came to present to him again. Open it. Open the artwork. Let's see the face. Is it your testimony? Is it your testimony? Okay, open it. Let's see if it is that this face that is there. <laughs> Let's see how it is. <laughs> I'm going to draw another thing today. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. You are an artist, eh? Yes. Eh? Are you an artist? So who drew it? I'm the one that did. I have the talent in drawing. You know, I really love Apostle Chubuzo due to his good works. He's a nice man of God, a great man of God. Okay. okay. So let's see her work. Is it that he face or not that he face? E or E. -E. <laughs> God bless you. So you drew by yourself. Yes. So you're an artist. Yeah, I have the talent. You have the talent. Draw. So the spirit in me inspired me to draw. Yes, you draw him. him. Uh -huh. Yes. And you drew him. Yes. And that is him. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Give Jesus a cup of bread. Needham. So are you a member of this church? You're not. Are you a member of the church? Oh. You're just a follower. Yes, I based in Owere. It's from Owere. I came Owere. Yeah, I came Wonderful. From Owere. That's good. God bless you. Nidam. For I, I dedicate this artwork in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit because of Jesus Christ. God who are giving you wisdom, knowledge, understanding to draw this. The powerful man of God, servant of God, prophet of God, apostle of our time and our king, God will also empower you 
strengthen you. God will take you to the next level. In the name of Jesus Christ, where you have never gone before, things you have never reached before, you will reach there in the name of Jesus. God will strengthen you. God provide for your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, take more keys of restoration. Clap on for Jesus. Can go ahead. Give Jesus a clap of him. <laughs> uh -huh. OPM. Doctor Jesus in action. My name is Augusto Osarongeshu from Element Local Government, Ona Presidly. I'm here to denounce courtism. We got a member of a day bank confraternity. Where do you operate? In LMA Aziz and other local government areas within River State. So from this day henceforth, I give my life to Jesus Christ. Okay, it's okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Favor Dibia. Your name is what? Favor Dibia. Hey! Favor Dibia. I come from Yonwi. Bumi? Huh? You Ye come from? Yonwi. You are me in which state? Ghana, local government. O Ogoni? Yes. Hey! Uh -huh. I come to relax my stealing. Okay, it's not your stealing, now. Stealing is not your own. Yeah? Yes. Okay, you came to renounce stealing, eh? Yes. You normally pick big, big pocket. Eh? You normally steal. Yes. In your mother's uh, pot. Yes. Or where again? Where do you pick pocket? Eh? You, you, where do you steal again? For, for another person's house. You go enter? Yes. Collect? Yes. Bring the oil. From now, no more. Open your mouth. No more people pick pocket. No more in Jesus' name. Go. Come. Bring the boy. Bring her. Come. Who brought you here? You came alone? You came alone? No. Who brought you? My mother. Okay, your mother is here? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Don't bother. Uh -huh. God praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Okechi David from Abia State. I'm here to deny stealing. By the grace, I'm saved. Okay, come to deny stealing. Yes, sir. OPM. Doctor Jesus in action. I'm Rafael Weke. By name, I'm from Echi. I came hey. to renounce robbery and courtesy. Robbery? And courtesy. From Eche? Yes, sir. Who is that of Eche? Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Hey! <laughs> but thank God he has renounced. No more stealing. No more reverse. There has even been this stealing and robbery. His own is robbery. You know, robbery, they use this thing. <laughs> So no more robbery. All right, move to your hand. Chris. Eh? Stabbing. They I stab you. you. Yes. The time we went to rob. <laughs> this one is what? Stabbing also. Put it. Video it. You don't video it. Uh-huh. Then stab me the time we went to operate. Then stab me the time we went to operate. They stab you. Okay, yes, sir. And stab your hand again here. Chai. He be here too. What kind of life? He be here. See, everywhere. The body has, in fact, his body is finished. And when they stab you, you see, go back again. Put it in eh? I will still continue. You will still continue. Hey. What kind of life is this? Thank God he has come to renounce. No more continuation. Amen. Yes, continuation, sir. Allah, Allah. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, Allah, sir. Allah. 
No yes, more. God, no more again. No more. Kneel down. Say blood of Jesus. Say blood of Jesus. Say blood of Jesus. Open your mouth. God, I disconnect you. In Jesus' name. Go. Uh -huh. I greet you too. <laughs> um, I'm Johnson by name. Uh, and my names are Johnson Ekuma Inyego. Coming all the way from Cross River State down to River State here in Potako to do or to denounce courtism and rough play and rough things in the street and stealing, in fact, and drug selling and buying and taking. You sell drug? Yes, and take and it And you also. take drug? Yes. Eyes. Igbo, SK, and everything, but I am happy for six days of being to here. I was not opportune to take any. <laughs> so I am Give happy. Give Jesus a glove of pain. For six days he came to OPA here. He has not taken any. No eyes, no Igbo, all of them. <laughs> eh? Before this time, every blessed day I used to take more than three times. A day? A day. Say. But... My greatest happiness today, I am standing here to thank God Almighty for making me not to remember those things again. So Give Jesus a clap of him. Where are you? No more. So he came all the way from Calabar? All the way from Cross River State in Abbey. Abbey? Yes, ABI. ABI. It is my headquarters of Abbey local government, <laughs> where we have former governor, Governor Leah Imoke. <laughs> No <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. Sorry. <laughs> hey. OPM. No, touch Jesus in action. My name is Simo Shedrak. I come from Akwaibon State. Akwaibon too? But I'm staying in the River State here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm here to denounce gambling. He has make me to be frustrated. Do you know what? Gambling, gambling. Gambling. Yes. Hey. Gambling. All your money. <laughs> Niger, bet. All of them. All of them. <laughs> you can't save. Oh. You sell. Eh? Even borrow. Even borrow to play. Yes. All his service. Put inside. All is owing, borrowing to play game. And the game is always caught in PM. 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 <laughs> it's over. This spirit of gambling will disappear. Open your mouth. No more. Go. Uh -huh. Just calm your spirit down. Yeah? You understand my right? But calm down, eh? You're breathing. And breathe down. Breathing. Breathing. Breathe down. Eh? Uh -huh. Go on. My name is Subara Supriye. I am from River State. And I am here to denounce. A masturbation. What? Masturbation. Okay. Masturbation, eh? Masturbation. Yes, sir. How old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen years. This tamarind will stop now. Amen. It will cease. Enough is enough. We are mad. No more. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Jackson Benimo from River State, Calabari. I am here to denounce courtism. Which court? Asawana. Asawana? <laughs> is there any court Asawana? 
Yes. Eh. <laughs> is it called for the elderlies? Okay, that called for the as God called for the elderly ones. Put the mic. Call for the elderly ones. Yes. And not uh, the small small boys. Yes. And you are married though. I'm, I'm not married. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very poor. Eh? You are not married? Uh, because because I, I am poor now. You are poor? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey! To show up as a, as a man. Nothing to show up as a man. Yes. But uh, God g- gave me three children. Okay, God gave me three children. Yeah. <laughs> now, wow. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> hey. Up your mouth. So you don't want to play as someone again? Yes. No more? Yes. Man, to give your life to Christ. Yes. It's done. Wait. Go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I came from, my name is Patience. I'm from Taraba State, Takum. My story is starting like this. My father have death. He have many children. So my people used to pursue us for the house. Do you come to denounce or what? What do you come to do? Can you just go straight? Okay. I'm doing prostitution. Okay. But now I'm stealing too to take care of my. Hey! Leave her by taking care of uh, anybody. You came to denounce <laughs> prostitution one <laughs> and then. Uh, stealing. And stealing. Don't bother. Don't bother. So now you want to give your life to Christ? Yes, sir. Uh, I always see the man of God, OPM, always appear to my dream, tell me, say, come and confess. Uh-huh. My God will take care of you. We take care of you, and you will leave those things. You will find something doing. That is always, good. that is why I'm here. And that is why you are here. I never come here. I never know him. It's from the dream that I know the name of the church. So you came all the way from? Taraba State. Taraba State? Yes, sir. Ubeausa? Yes, sir. Abi Jukun. Sober. Very much. Wait, don't be hands. Oh there. Now all of you need them. All of you need them. Now you have denounced courtesy, you have denounced armed robbery, you have denounced kidnapping, prostitution, stealing. You have denounced. Once you go back again, say you want to go for robbery again, you want to go for stealing again, army will shoot you. Police will shoot you. Us back will behead you. (laughs) So don't go again. Don't go back again. This altar is a strong altar. OPM altar is not like any other altar. It's not a common altar. Nobody persuaded you. Nobody forced you to denounce. On your own, you came and denounced. So don't go back again. What you can do is to be preaching the word of God to people, those of your mates. Tell them to repent. Bring them to OPM. God will change their lives and all that things. Then God now will change your life completely. Lay on your chest. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I've sinned against you. Have mercy upon me because of Jesus Christ. For as you have confessed their sin and forsaken them. Don't confess and forsake them. Our sins that you forgive us and you cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. For today, forgive their sin of their sins. For I cleanse them from all their unrighteousness because of Jesus Christ. Now take the word of God. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. And take it. And take it. Now the man, follow Pastor Doka. This is a pastor. Eh? Follow him. Then the woman, follow the welfare officers. 
Okay, divine cleaners, they have a Thanksgiving, please. Can they come for their Thanksgiving? Divine cleaners, come for your Thanksgiving, please. Then, those that came late, when we have finished giving offering, tithes, seed, sacrifice, you came late, when we have finished giving offering, tithes, sacrifice, seed, seed, giving bidding offering, you couldn't give your own, let me provide. Father, I bless this offering, I bless this tithes, I bless this seed, in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, because of Jesus Christ. Now, can you come towards the altar and drop it? Please, can you come towards the altar and drop it? Come towards the altar and drop it. Please, let them come now. Please come. This, they volunteer themselves to clean the church, sweep the church, weed the church, Keep the church neat, free. Nobody's paying them. They are doing it voluntarily. So why won't God bless them? When you work for God, God will also work for. Uh -huh. Do you have any talk? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Divine cleaners. Clean in the house of Dr. Jesus. We are divine cleaners. And by the grace of God, we are volunteers. We made ourselves available to make sure the vineyard of God is clean. We wash chairs here. We weed around and sweep the church every Monday. And today we are here to thank God. With this little token here, man of God, this is what we have. Look at it. On their own. They contributed. Yes, hundred thousand. So hundred thousand. Yes. So one you to thank God for what God has been doing for them. They have been clean. They walk up the house of God free of charge, not no payment. And today they have come to thank God. Eden. Eden. Father, I bless the bank cleaners in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you are cleaning the house of God, God will also clean your life in the name of Jesus. Every debt in your family, every rubbish in your family, today, God shall remove it in the name of Jesus. God shall beautify you. God shall decorate you. God shall present you. God shall select you. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you are coming next time, you are coming with your testimony. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please go. Clap on for Dr. Jesus. Give Jesus a clap of him. Now, more announcements. On Tuesday, we have our midweek service here by 12 noon. On Tuesday, we have midweek service here by 12 noon. Why on Thursday, we have billionaire service in GRA Branch 1 by 6 p.m. Then, on Friday, we have our mega crusade in Ohanko, Ndoki, Club and Brother Jesus. So, buses will be stationed here in the morning by 7 a.m. on Friday to convey members to Ndoki, Ohanko. Please. By 7, 8, you are here. 7 o'clock, you are here. So, they can, buses can convey you to then let us stand up. Let us stand up. Please stand up. Pray like this. Say this week, whether my enemies like it or not, I must testify. Say this week, whether my enemies like it or not. I must testify. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I must testify. 
Because of Jesus Christ, we pray. Say this week, I shall be selected for a major breakthrough. Say this week, I shall be selected for a major breakthrough. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yeah. This week. Yeah. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Yeah. 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 Because of Jesus Christ, we pray. Say this week, God shall answer all my prayers. Say this week, God shall answer all my prayers. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yeah. Yeah. Open your mouth and pray. Yeah. 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 Yes. Because of Jesus Christ, we pray. Say this week, all my haters shall confess and die. Say this week, all my haters shall confess and die. Hope in your mind and begin to pray. All my haters shall confess and die. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. Because of Jesus Christ, we pray. Pray, say, this week, my divine helpers must locate me. Say, this week, my divine helpers must locate me. Open your mind and begin to pray. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yes, yes, because of Jesus Christ, we pray. Lift your hand to heavens. Father, we thank you for what you've done for us today. We return all the glory, we return all the honor in the name of Jesus Christ. For I let this week favor us. For I let all our miracles come out this week in the name of Jesus. We we'll cover our spirit, soul, and body with the blood of Jesus. There shall be no loss in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Please, those coming for the first time, don't go. Wait for your assignment. Those who want to pick your assignment, also wait for your assignment. Now, those on assignment, let me provide Father, I bless this assignment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Before even assignment, you must testify because of Jesus Christ. Those that have your own assignment, let me close it. Today, Father, I close this assignment. In the name of God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Because of Jesus Christ. Because you have written the assignment, you are the nurse to testify 
because of Jesus Christ. Now, please, those coming for the first time, wait. Those who want a big assignment, wait. Please.